Chapter 1901 Yi Lingxian executes Miang Jie translator. Born to be as the large mass of experts charged out into the coalition army, the barrier that the Dragonblood warriors had summoned was relieved of a great deal of pressure. The cracks quickly healed. Over a hundred thousand experts had charged out. They had tried to comprehend this life and death energy, but in the end, they were unable to enter that state. As for the other experts with greater comprehension skills, fluctuations were starting to appear around them. Fluctuations of life and death energy. Those people were their fellow disciples. Of course, many of them didn't know each other before this one unforgettable battle. To win them more time to comprehend this life and death energy, they gave up on their own dreams and even their own lives, charging out with furious howls. Yi Lingxian, who was fighting Miang Jie, saw all of this. Her eyes reddened. She had grown up alone, struggling and fighting in this world by herself. The entire reason she had picked up this burden was because of her master. But now, she was profoundly experiencing just how noble a feeling like trust was. Long Chen had once told her that as long as she was willing to do the same for others, others would be willing to repay her. At that time, she hadn't fully understood. Now she did. When she had summoned these disciples, when she had charged out into battle, these disciples had followed her unswervingly. It wasn't for her but for the Martial Heaven Alliance. If my master could, then I can definitely do the same. I won't disappoint my master's hopes for me. Yi Lingxian's grip on her sword suddenly tightened. Upon raising her sword, arcs of light soared into the sky. A divine mark appeared on her forehead. Her manifestation split open, and tens of thousands of swords flew out of the opening. As a result, the world rumbled as Yi Lingxian activated a paragon art. You're igniting your blood soul? Have you gone crazy, you damn woman? The one facing Yi Lingxian, the corrupt king Miang Jie, was shocked and infuriated. He didn't know if she had gone insane, but she was actually igniting her blood soul. That was something completely self-destructive. What he didn't know was that Yi Lingxian was still unable to completely control her paragon art. Her paragon art was a treasure related to the karmic luck of the entire Martial Heaven Alliance. Its power wasn't something that other paragon arts could compare to. My life belongs to the Martial Heaven Alliance. For my brothers and sisters of the Martial Heaven Alliance, I, Yi Lingxian, am willing to bleed my last drop of blood. Miang Jie, today, only one of us is leaving here alive. Yi Lingxian was completely determined. Her voice resounded through the battlefield. Every disciple of the Martial Heaven Alliance heard it. Their morale surged and they crazily attacked. Millions of swords flew toward Miang Jie. He let out a furious roar, and a black world appeared behind him. He was also using a paragon art. Their two paragon arts clashed, causing the entire battlefield to shake intensely. Astral winds tore through the air. However, a muffled sound appeared after just a moment, and the black world was submerged by the endless swords. Miang Ji's corpse was torn apart. The instant that his physical body was destroyed, an indistinct black light shot out of his body and into the ground. Don't try to use the same move twice. Suddenly, Li Qi smiled. Runes appeared on the ground, and a strange object flew out. The object instantly blew apart. Miang Ji's furious roar came from it. His substitute puppet art had actually failed because of Li Qi. He hadn't managed to switch his physical body and was now left with just his Yuan spirit. Ten thousand swords slice the void. Just at this moment, flying swords slashed down. Miang Jie let out a furious roar, and his Yuan spirit was about to detonate when suddenly a feather sliced through him. This was the blue eye peacock's original true feather. It contained its divine might and caused his soul to shake. Meng Chi had joined in. Meng Chi had activated the blue eye peacock's original true feather's power, suppressing Miang Jie. Perhaps if he still had a physical body he could have managed to resist, but with just his Yuan spirit, he lost control. It felt like his soul was being torn apart. Just as his soul was suppressed, Yi Lingxian's swords pierced through him. Her sword Qi instantly turned his soul into nothingness. A corrupt king died just like that. You dare to use the same move twice in front of my boss? Definitely courting death, sneered Guo Ran. Last time, Miang Jie had used this technique to escape. Long Chen had pointed out the flaw in this technique. 
which was the moment where his physical body switched place with that puppet. As long as he was interrupted during that moment, he would be doomed. By attempting it again, he had lost his life. However, Miang Ji's power was witnessed by everyone. He was absolutely terrifying, and without that previous experience, there was no way he would have been killed. Yi Lingxian suddenly coughed up a mouthful of blood. People were shocked to find that at some point, she had lost her left arm. Blood dyed half her body. She had managed to force Miang Ji Ye into an all-out clash, but she had paid a price. Her aura plummeted. Not only had she used up most of her spiritual yuan, but she had also suffered a heavy injury. I pledge my life to senior apprentice sister Yi Lingxian. I pledge my life to senior apprentice sister Yi Lingxian. I pledge my life to senior apprentice sister Yi Lingxian. It was unknown who was the first to shout this, but all the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples began to shout, their voices ringing out louder and louder, shaking the world. Long Chen smiled. Yi Lingxian had managed to win the hearts of these young disciples. She had done very well. Yi Lingxian had finally shown her charisma as a leader. This would bring about a powerful cohesiveness and motivation within the Martial Heaven Alliance. That kind of power would grow stronger and stronger. You seem quite confident, like everything's within your control, said Huo Lian as he continued to attack Long Chen with his flame spear. Aren't you the same? We're in the same boat. You're playing a game with me, but as for the final board, it will quickly be exposed, said Long Chen indifferently. Clearly, Huo Lian was the true person in charge of this battlefield. However, compared to Long Chen, he seemed slightly uneasy. Long Chen had been calm from start to end. Hence, he couldn't tell what Long Chen was thinking. Boom. Each of them forced the other back. They stared at one another. On the battlefield, the Martial Heaven Alliance's morale was soaring. Yi Lingxian was injured, causing her power to drop. But she still joined the troops to slaughter their enemies. Huo Lian smiled. Do you think the Martial Heaven Alliance can be saved? Clearly. Huo Lian was referring to Yi Lingxian. She had managed to receive Ku Jianying's burden and was now reuniting the Martial Heaven Alliance. The Martial Heaven Alliance didn't need saving in the first place. Your question is stupid. Long Chen shook his head, lazily resting Evil Moon on his shoulder. Long Chen, you might think yourself clever, but you don't even realize death has come for you. Huo Lian smiled mockingly. This idiot expression of yours is quite irritating. No wonder the pill fairy doesn't like you. If you get any closer, I'll vomit. Long Chen once more shook his head. Bullshit. Huo Lian was instantly provoked. His voice was so loud that it made everyone else jump. Don't be so loud. If your voice represented your power, then donkeys would have already taken control of this world. So you shouldn't play such low-level stalling tactics with me. From the very start, I could tell something was up. The person who arranged this game is not you nor those two fellows from Heavenly Fate Island. You're all listening to the moves from outside the board. It's fine. I'm not in a rush. Stalling like this is actually really nice. In any case, your Pill Valley sent out the fewest people, and the ones dying belong to other powers. You don't care how many people die from the corrupt path, the ancient family alliance, the ancient races, or the Shwen beasts. Actually. The more of them die, the more hatred they'll feel for the Martial Heaven Alliance. Whether this battle is a misunderstanding or a trap, the seeds of hatred will already be planted. Pill Valley will still be the winner. When Long Chen's lazy voice rang out, the expressions of everyone fighting changed. The hearts of the people in the coalition army dropped. Through Long Chen's reminder, they realized that Pill Valley had really only sent Huo Lian and those twelve experts of the Flame Divine Palace. There were hundreds of thousands of corpses strewn on the battlefield now, but they didn't include Pill Valley's people. Even the neutral camp's people were shocked. It seemed Long Chen had long since seen through Pill Valley's intentions. Absolute nonsense. Do you think others can't tell that you're trying to sow dissension? Shouted Huo Lian. No, you misunderstand me. I'm not saying that you're an idiot, nor am I raising the question, because you are simply fundamentally an idiot said Long Chen innocently. You. Ah. Here come the donkey sounds again. I told you. Being loud is meaningless. If Pill Valley wants to con more idiots, it has nothing to do with me. 
If you want to play with me, then I'll play you to death. In my eyes, none of you are innocent. If people have their own eyes and brains, they should be able to see the truth. If they don't understand things but still raise their butcher blades, they can't use the excuse that they were being used by others once things are over. Being used by others? What do they even have brains for? Innocent? What about the people they killed because of their idiocy? Are they not innocent? So to everyone who has raised their blades toward my friends of the Marshall Haven Alliance, I'll have to say I'm sorry for you. Long Chen smiled coldly. Huo Lian's expression changed slightly. What are you talking about? Just at this moment, the golden tide began to shudder. The golden tide's about to retreat. Startled cries rang out. The experts comprehending the golden tide began to awaken. You were stalling for time, but I was also doing the same thing. Sorry, but the time I was waiting for arrived first. I'll be going, said Long Chen with a grim smile. Xia Chen, is the formation complete? Chapter 1902 Long Chen's Appetite Translator Born to be I haven't failed your mission. Xia Chen's voice rang out, causing everyone's expressions to change. Suddenly, rays of divine light began shining out of the ground. They were like pillars of light, enveloping the entire battlefield within them. At the same time, formation runes began flowing in the air, and a figure appeared in the sky. It was Xia Chen. Xia Chen had a giant formation disc above him. Divine light flowed out of it and created a dome that covered this region. What damn thing is this? One of the ancient race experts launched a furious sword blow at the formation. When his sword chi struck the barrier, it didn't cause the slightest ripple. The sword chi simply vanished. All the experts were shocked. Connecting this sudden change with Long Chen's words, the coalition army's people suddenly had a bad feeling. Quite a few experts switched to attacking the formation, trying to charge out. Condensed suddenly, Xia Chen let out a cry. The formation disc above his head began to rapidly spin. Black ripples spread throughout the barrier. AHH mournful cries came from the experts attacking the formation. Black Chi was corroding their bodies. In just a breath's time, they transformed into a white skeleton. In two breaths time, their skeleton also corroded into nothing more than dust. What now everyone was shocked. Hundreds of experts had just tried to break this barrier, including seven Empyreans. But even those Empyreans were slain. He's drawing out the Yin world's death's energy, shouted someone. Following that person's reminder, everyone finally noticed that a portion of this giant barrier was covering the Yin world's barrier of death. It was absorbing that death energy. Xia Chen had a gratified smile. This unusual but terrifying formation of his was actually working. He had started secretly setting up this formation while the battle had been going on. That was the mission Long Chen had given him. Huo Lian had wild ambitions, but Long Chen's ambitions were even bigger. He didn't just want a simple victory but also the lives of all his enemies. It could be said that this formation had used up all the accumulated wealth of the Dragonblood Legion. This was an absolutely terrifying formation, which had not only been set up secretly but was also absorbing some unknown death energy. It was a huge gamble with high odds of failure. However, Xia Chen was a genius formation master. He had actually managed to succeed, so he was filled with pride. It was only upon joining the Dragonblood Legion that he managed to have the money to squander on giant formations like this. Before this, there were many theoretical formations that he understood but hadn't had the money to test. Only with a constant flow of money and a lot of testing could his skill increase. So this current accomplishment was thanks to Long Chen's wealth. Standing in this grand formation, he had a grand feeling like he was in control of this world. Regretfully. This formation was only a barrier formation, not a killing formation. Otherwise, he could use the death energy to annihilate everyone inside. There wasn't enough time to set something like that up, especially since the plan had only popped into Long Chen's head when he had gathered with the Martial Heaven Alliance's army. Xia Chen had only had three days to plan and prepare the materials. The death barrier was like a haze covering this world and the coalition army's experts were finally afraid. Long Chen had come prepared. The golden tide had now ended, and they could no longer feel the fluctuations of life and death energy merging. Instead, the only thing was this death chi. As expected, 
Long Chen is superior to those idiots like Huo Liyan, Zi Luo, and true immortal Jiaoki. The man in the neutral camp with the giant die spinning behind him smiled slightly. He had been extremely calm from the start, and even the arrival of this grand formation didn't cause him the slightest nervousness. Although everyone in the neutral camp knew that theoretically, no one would want to become enemies with them. The arrival of the giant death barrier meant that all their lives were in someone else's hands. It was a very uncomfortable feeling. Big brother Long Chen is amazing. Big sister. Look. It was clearly a chance to earn a favor from him. But you didn't take it. Now you won't get that chance. Chi Xuan giggled. Her previous nervousness having long since vanished. Chi Feng Su glared at Chi Xuan but couldn't be bothered to scold her. Chi Xuan couldn't even understand just how complicated such a thing was for them. There was also another woman in the neutral camp. She had an ordinary face and appearance. Looking up at Long Chen in the sky, she had a complicated expression. The neutral camp's experts retreated to a corner of the battlefield, not wanting to join in and expressing their neutrality. However, the nervous people were those who were comparatively weaker. As for the top experts, they were calm. They still wanted to see what the conclusion of this battle would be. Based on the current standings, Long Chen's side had only taken a slight advantage. In this scenario, perhaps their chances of victory were higher. But Long Chen's goal wasn't just to win. He wanted to annihilate all of his enemies. That kind of appetite was frightening. This was a true battle to the death. If the Martial Heaven Alliance's side lost, then the Martial Heaven Alliance would fracture and perhaps collapse. If the coalition army lost, it would also be a grievous blow to their side and severely impact their morale. The neutral camp's experts watched with rapt interest. You want to devour all of us? Long Chen, your appetite's quite big. Huo Liyan smiled. I've always had a big appetite. Most importantly, I don't just have a good appetite but a good set of teeth as well. Long Chen smiled brightly, revealing his teeth. Those teeth looked quite good normally but now they seemed to shine with a cold light that gave others chills. Long Chen's smile suddenly vanished, replaced with overflowing killing intent. His gaze was as sharp as the tip of a blade. All right, the time for talking is over. To dare kill my brothers of the heaven-splitting battle sect, I'll have you all accompany them, shouted Long Chen. Is the Dragonblood Legion present? Present. The Dragonblood Warrior's roar shook the sky. Kill them all. Don't leave a single one alive. Vengeance for our fallen brothers. Kill. The Dragonblood Warriors charged out once more. This time, they were like devils incarnate. Their blade slaughtering their enemies mercilessly. Their charge shattered the courage of these trapped experts. They fell back continuously. Trying to avoid the Dragonblood Warriors. The Dragonblood Legion's addition to the battle instantly made them the strongest force. The Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples naturally followed behind them, slaughtering their enemies. Zhao Xianji, when are our reinforcements getting here? Seeing this unfavorable situation, Huo Liyan finally started to get a bit worried. He sent a message to one of the Fate Princes. They'll be here quickly. It should be in an hour, replied the Fate Prince who was hiding in the crowd. An hour. In an hour, the entire coalition army will be annihilated. Which idiot planned this timing? Were they trying to con us? This time, even Huo Liyan was infuriated with Heavenly Fate Island. In an hour, most of their members would have been killed by the Dragonblood Warriors. Long Chen had said that Pill Valley was intentionally making the various large powers sacrifice a portion of their experts in order to make them feel hatred for the Martial Heaven Alliance. This deduction of his was accurate. Pill Valley was intentionally uniting the large powers against the Martial Heaven Alliance. However, there was already enough hatred planted. If all these people were killed, how would Pill Valley and Heavenly Fate Island explain themselves to those large powers? That Fate Prince's expression was ugly. Huo Liyan had just insulted all of Heavenly Fate Island's people. This plan was plotted by all of Heavenly Fate Island's calculations. However, None of them had expected things to go awry at every turn. Their plan was supposed to be flawless, but now it had turned against them. If Huo Liyan didn't know about Heavenly Fate Island's enmity with Long Chen, he would really suspect that Heavenly Fate Island was helping Long Chen out. Heavenly Fate Island had succeeded in scheming against Long Chen multiple times. 
including the underground battlefield of the Devil Slaughter rankings. They had mostly been successful. They had thought that they would succeed this time as well. However, they would never have imagined that Long Chen would obtain so many inheritances in the Yun Yang world, infecting himself with their karma as well. That fragment of Eastern Wasteland fell in particular through the lines of fate into complete chaos. Now it wasn't just Long Chen, but even the people related to his fate were no longer predictable. So their flawless plan had become a joke. The remaining two fate princes were still dumbfounded, their minds blank, not knowing what to do. They could only continue to transmit everything happening here to the outside world through a secret communication method. They told their reinforcements to hurry up. Suddenly, the two fate princes hiding in the crowd saw two dragonblood warriors charging toward them. We've been noticed the two of them were startled, but they were comforted to see that it was just two ordinary dragonblood warriors. They would be easy to handle. Exchanging a glance, they decided not to hide. They took out their strange rulers, and their heavenly Tao manifestations appeared behind them. Die, you bastards of the Dragonblood Legion. The two fate princes both launched powerful attacks. You're the ones who will die. The two Dragonblood warriors suddenly spat at the fate princes' faces, and then they unleashed a kick. Their shoes actually flew off at the two of them. The two fate princes instinctively dodged. However, the runes on their rulers didn't light up. They hastily dodged the spit and the shoes. As a result, two sharp swords came from a strange angle, slicing up from beneath their butts. Blood flew into the sky and rained down. The two fate princes were turned into four pieces. Chapter 1903 I'm going to slaughter you all translator. Born to be how is that possible seeing the two fate princes be instantly slain by two ordinary dragonblood warriors? Everyone was stunned. Those were fate princes, the strongest geniuses of heavenly fate island. They had all seen one of the fate princes attack Bao Buping and Chang Hao, easily crushing them. If Long Chen hadn't returned, the two of them would have been dead. If Long Chen could slay one of the fate princes instantly, then that was acceptable. After all, that was Long Chen, someone surrounded by a cloud of legend and fame. He was a monster that couldn't be judged according to common sense. However, those were just two dragonblood warriors. Although they were squad leaders, they still couldn't be stronger than Chang Hao and Bao Buping. Yet, the two of them had killed the two fate princes like chopping a melon. The experts who had witnessed it were unable to comprehend what had just happened. Fate princes? More like scammers sneered one of the dragonblood warriors, flinging off the blood on his sword. He put his shoe back on and charged back to join the rest of the dragonblood legion. The two of them acted like they had just done some insignificant thing. Seeing the shocked expressions, they were very pleased inside. This was what Long Chen had taught them. When fighting Heavenly Fate Island's experts, they shouldn't use normal moves. It would be best if they just did something random that even they didn't know why they were doing so. As a result, the Heavenly Fate Island's disciples wouldn't be able to calculate anything. Long Chen had already figured out the power of Heavenly Fate Island's disciples. Their terrifying strength lay mostly in that strange ruler of theirs that could calculate an opponent's moves. However, moves that it hadn't seen before couldn't be calculated. The disciples using the ruler were used to relying on it. So when fighting normal experts, no matter how complicated their techniques, they could accurately predict how to counter them. However, if you were just a blank piece of paper, there was nothing to calculate because there was no question. So Long Chen had told his people to just randomly hack around to the point that even they didn't know the goal of their own moves. As a result, they had instantly slain the two fate princes. In truth, Long Chen had long since been looking for the two fate princes, but the two of them were rather crafty and he had been unable to pinpoint them. He had intentionally spoken to Huo Lian to bait him into spiritually communicating with them. Although he was unable to eavesdrop on their conversation, he was able to sense the fluctuations. He himself wasn't able to pinpoint their location, but there was a powerful soul cultivator amongst them. Men Chi had locked onto their location, and Long Chen had sent two of the squad leaders to stealthily approach them before attacking. Seeing the two fate princes be slain, Long Chen smiled. Looking at the gloomy Huo Lian, he lightly said, All right, 
If my calculations are correct, now your connection to the outside world has been severed. Don't you think it's time for you to bring out your full power? If you don't, all these people will be killed. If only a portion die, the large powers will feel hatred for the Martial Heaven Alliance. But if they all die, that hatred will extend to Pill Valley as well. Long Chen's words were like poison arrows piercing Huo Lian's heart. He was infuriated. In front of Long Chen, it felt like all his plans were laid bare. He looked like an idiot. He was starting to feel uneasy. If he was continued to be led by the nose, he would be utterly defeated. Just at this moment, a flash of sword light tore through the void. A figure exploded, his blood raining down. Yu Zifeng sheathed his sword. The divine emissary of the Blood Kill Hall had managed to endure this long. He had used up all his techniques and movements arts but had been unable to escape his fate of being slain. Now, the four fate princes of Heavenly Fate Island and the three divine emissaries of the Blood Kill Hall were all dead. Furthermore, Yu Zifeng wasn't injured at all. It didn't seem like he had used up much energy slaying that divine emissary either. Do you need help? Asked Yu Zifeng. No. Go help Lu Ruian. Long Chen shook his head. Lu Ruian was having great difficulty handling true immortal Jiaoki. His divine item was too powerful. Yu Zifeng nodded. Without another word, he floated over to Lu Ruian's battlefield. His sword once more came out of its sheath, slashing toward true immortal Jiaoki. The instant Yu Zifeng's sword came out of its sheath, true immortal Jiaoki felt a chill all over his body. In the face of a terrifying sword cultivator, he didn't dare to be careless. His Killin Halberd unleashed a blaze of divine light as he fought against the two of them. With Yu Zifeng joining in, Lu Ruian had it much easier. The two of them joined hands, forcing the furious true immortal Jiaoki back over and over again. Yu Zifeng's attacks were very threatening, causing true immortal Jiaoki to be at a disadvantage. Currently, the Dragonblood Legion was leading the Martial Heaven Alliance's charge against the Coalition Army. With every moment, a genius died, dyeing the ground red with their blood. The Coalition Army's morale fell repeatedly, and they were completely routed. They were fleeing miserably in the face of the Dragonblood Warriors, but they were unable to escape through the Death Formation. Quite a few experts had tried to attack Xia Chen who was floating in the sky. Xia Chen was the core of this formation and if he was killed, the formation would crumble. Unfortunately for them, they were thinking too simply. How could Xia Chen expose himself to danger? When anyone approached him, Black Chi would swirl around him. He would be fine, but anyone who attacked him would be slain by that Black Chi. Xia Chen was connected to this formation. Attacking him was equivalent to attacking the formation. The experts of the coalition army were in despair. They couldn't beat their opponents and they couldn't run. There was only one conclusion for them. They would all be killed. The coalition army still had over 700,000 people, while the Martial Heaven Alliance's side had less than 300,000. However, their morale was high, and the Dragonblood warriors were slaughter machines. Although the coalition army outnumbered them two to one, their numbers were rapidly dwindling. Long Chen looked at the dark-faced Huo Lian. Long Chen looked as if he had all the time in the world, but Huo Lian on the other side was anxious. He had a difficult decision to make. Seeing these experts being constantly cut down, his thoughts were a bit chaotic. Are you calculating how important these people's lives are? Or are the lives of the Dragonblood Warriors and the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples more important? Long Chen smiled at him. The two fate princes had been slain. And although Meng Chi hadn't been able to do a soul sark through their soul fragments, she had managed to piece together some fragmentary memories and sent them to Long Chen. Long Chen was now sure that reinforcements were coming for the other side. Although he didn't know what kind of reinforcements they were, they had to be powerful. Unfortunately, now they were in an awkward moment. Huo Lian and the others definitely had more trump cards but still didn't want to expose them. Perhaps it was because they thought that their trump cards were so powerful that if they used them, they would even break the barrier, allowing people to flee. Then they would be unable to slaughter them all like they wanted to. Long Chen's appetite was big, but the other side's appetite was also great. Both sides wanted to completely eliminate each other and gain the greatest profit. 
Hill Valley didn't care about these people's lives, but they had to take care of other people's feelings. Hugh O'Leon was currently weighing the pros and cons, but he hadn't made his final decision yet. Long Chen wasn't in a rush and didn't urge Hugh O'Leon on, but occasionally, he would say a few words to disturb Hugh O'Leon's mental state. This was like a game, or perhaps a gamble. It was a contest of the Martial Heaven Alliance against the other large powers of the world. Who won and who lost would influence the entire continent's state. No one could be careless. However, Long Chen was different. He didn't care. No matter what scheme they had, he would receive it. If you wanted to fight, he would fight. If you wanted to wait, he could wait too. In any case, he couldn't be bothered to try out scheming them. With just one head, how was he supposed to outscheme all the wily old foxes that had come up with this plan? All he needed to do was wait for Hugh O'Leon's trump cards. Hugh O'Leon, what are you waiting for? Do you want everyone to die? True immortal Jayaoki roared. He was infuriated. It had only been an incense stick's worth of time, but the coalition army had lost 200,000 people. The Dragonblood warrior's killing power was too terrifying. Right now, the ones surviving were the elites of the various large powers. The weak ones had long since been slain. The ones who were still able to endure were the true experts. Battle was like a whetstone. It was like waves washing out the weak. However, now the battle was no longer a whetstone. Instead, it was simply grinding them into nothingness. Their people's confidence had been shattered. They had become lambs for the slaughter and were completely broken by the terrifying power of the Dragonblood Legion. As for the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples, they were filled with reverence and worship for the Dragonblood Warriors. They were a group of selfless, undefeatable battle gods. They had actually abandoned their own chance to comprehend life and death to protect them, giving them that opportunity. That kind of heroism made them incomparably grateful to be fighting alongside them. They felt their blood surging. They had forgotten their fear of death and had forgotten themselves. They were only thinking of following the Dragonblood warriors and annihilating their enemies for their fallen brothers and sisters. One side was broken, while the other side's morale was soaring. The coalition army's numbers continued to drop. In fact, under the pressure of death, some of them were unable to create any kind of defensive might. They simply despaired. The casualties continued to rise. Seeing his people being slain one by one, true immortal Jayaoki roared. However, Hugh O'Leon was still conflicted. Fuck, I don't care. I'm going to slaughter you all. True immortal Jayaoki's manifestation suddenly exploded. The Killin image inside erupted, and a terrifying roar resounded throughout heaven and earth. A violent pressure crashed down from the heavens, causing the formation to shudder. Chapter 1904 Dragonbone Evil Moon's Power Translator Born to be true immortal Jayaoki's manifestation exploded. The original Killin image was blown away, revealing a strange monster. It was an amalgamation of a Killin and a Drake. It had a Killin's body, but it had nine Drake tails growing on its back. The nine tails soared into the sky, while the Killin scale shone brightly. That figure let out a heaven-shaking roar. This is his ultimate manifestation. Killin Drake power. Apparently his race is the descendant of the Drake and Killin. He had Drake power, Killin power, and Killin Drake power. Rumor is that Killin Drake power can be considered a paragon art in and of itself. Through his manifestation, he can summon his ancestors' power. Once his manifestation is fully awakened, his power will be able to shatter the heavens. He's already managed to unlock this ultimate manifestation. If it weren't for his cultivation base limiting him, he would have long since fully awoken it. But even if it's not fully awoken, his current power has now multiplied. I never expected him to have such a pure bloodline. I heard that he had failed to obtain the blue eye peacock's essence blood, but he did find a corrupt drake skeleton in some cave. It happened to be the same kind of race as him, so he managed to merge with it very well. The fact that he can summon this kill and drake power is most likely related to that. The neutral camp's experts were discussing this change spiritedly. True immortal Jayaoki's blood chi surged. It felt like his blood essence had been ignited. He was almost exploding with power. Die. True immortal Jayaoki roared. His halberd rumbled, and it sounded like the cries of a Killin and a Drake mixed together. 
a pillar of divine light blasted forth. The giant tree that was Lurui'an was cut in two by that light. The majority of its crown had been slashed off. Yu Zifan swung his sword, helping Lurui'an out. However, true immortal Jiaoki's power was so great that it caused the void to crumble. Yu Zifan was sent flying, coughing up blood. Having summoned his ultimate manifestation, true immortal Jiaoki was in his strongest state. His power had multiplied, and even Lurui'an and Yu Zifan combined were unable to block him. Seeing this revitalized the coalition army's experts. The Xuan beasts in particular were cheering. I'm not going to play this stupid game with you any longer. Since you're all cowards, I'll do your job and kill them all. True immortal Jiaoki raised his halberd. It was like a blazing sun, and with a single step, he appeared above the dragon blood warriors, his halberd slashing down. Boom. The giant willow tree once more appeared, blocking true immortal Jiaoki. But the giant branches it condensed into a shield were pierced by the halberd. Luruian was sent flying again, having summoned his Killin Drake manifestation. True immortal Jiaoki was able to fully activate his divine power. His combat power was several times greater than before. Even with her undying body, Luruian couldn't continue like this. Just these two exchanges had cost her a great deal of energy. The second blow in particular had caused a terrible injury. With Luruian sent flying, Yu Zifeng appeared in her stead. At some point, his sword had returned to his sheath. Yu Zifeng's gaze was locked onto true immortal Jiaoki. His hand reached for the hilt on his back. In that instant, the world became still. There was no powerful manifestation raging. There were no astral winds unfurling. There was no irresistible pressure. There was nothing at all. There was only calm. The current Yu Zifeng seemed to have become an icy sword god. He was concentrating all his energy, mental energy, spiritual energy, everything he had was gathering. The world lost its sound. The only thing left was Yu Zifeng's sword. Although some of the people here were sword cultivators, they could all tell that Yu Zifeng had entered a special state. Once he attacked, it would be a thunderous blow. Just at this moment Long Chen and Evil Moon had a short exchange. Are you ready? About. I've already fully adapted to that evil dragon's soul essence. Alright. Then it should be time for me to go in. Yu Zifeng's attack is too dangerous. It's an attack where either he kills his opponent, or he dies. Huo Lian was stalling, but Long Chen was stalling as well. Three days ago, Evil Moon had woken up. It had finished absorbing the metal devouring evil dragon's soul essence. It had then taken a bit of time to get used to it. So Long Chen was more than happy to stall with Huo Lian. Die. True immortal Jiaoki felt a sharp pain in his soul upon seeing Yu Zifeng. A sensation of crisis enveloped him, but he still roared and attacked with the Killin Halberd. Yu Zifeng took a deep breath. Sword light appeared in his eyes, and his hand tightened on his sword. Leave this to me. Suddenly, Long Chen's voice rang out. He appeared in front of Yu Zifeng. The two dragon marks on Evil Moon lit up. As a result, an incredibly evil killing intent sword, and a terrifying dragon roar shook the world. Boom. Evil Moon and the Killin Halberd collided in the sky. It was like a star had exploded, and terrifying shockwaves filled the barrier. The experts fighting were blown away by the shockwaves. Even the barrier Xia Chen had set up shuddered intensely, on the verge of collapse. Huo Lian was startled. Just now, he had clearly kept Long Chen locked down. But somehow Long Chen had vanished to block true immortal Jiaoki's attack. What he didn't know was that this was the result of Evil Moon taking action. It was finally able to unleash some of its power, and it had allowed Long Chen to slip away from Huo Lian. The void continued to shake. Sand and stone were being blown through the air, and the earth was torn apart. What terrifying power! Even the heavenly deos have been suppressed. Startled cries rang out. The very heavenly deos were being forced out of the domain of that battle. The heavenly deos were rumbling, on the verge of crumbling. That appearance was too shocking. Are they monsters? How can they possess such power? True experts don't want to expose their trump cards in front of others until they have no choice. That's true of Long Chen, true immortal Jiaoki, and the others. However, for true immortal Jiaoki to suddenly do this means that the real battle is about to start said the man with the die spinning behind him. At this time, 
Someone finally summoned the courage to ask. I'm sorry, but I'm not good with remembering names. Can I ask your name? Hu Feng the man smiled slightly. When that man reported his name, the neutral camp's experts were startled. You were the one ranked sixth on the Devil Slaughter rankings. Don't bring up that ranking. It's embarrassing that I didn't even get in the top five. Hu Feng waved his hand dismissively. I've heard that you're the heir of the ancient gambling heavenly Dao. Can you tell us who you think will win between Long Chen, Huo Lian, and the others? Asked one disciple respectfully. Upon hearing the name of the gambling heavenly Dao, the neutral camp's experts were shocked and amazed. That was an extremely ancient school of cultivation. Rumor was that there would only be one heir in each generation. The heirs of this school of cultivation were proficient in gambling to the point of gambling against the very heavenly deos. Legend had it that those disciples were all extremely terrifying and would always have at least a 50% chance of winning, no matter how strong their opponent was. In other words, if Hu Feng were to fight a terrifying nether passage expert, he would still have a 50% chance of winning. Even against a god, he would have a 50% chance of winning. However, rumors were just rumors. They had never actually seen it. But the heir of the gambling heavenly Dao was definitely a monster that no one wished to provoke. Sorry, but my gambling skills can't be used on other people's battles. So I can't say anything. Hu Feng shook his head. Big brother, don't you have a die behind you? Spin it. And if it's an odd number, it means Long Chen will win. If it's an even number, big brother Long Chen will also win. Qi Xuan curiously pointed to the spinning die behind Hu Feng. Zuanur. Don't cause trouble. Chi Feng Su hastily pulled back Chi Xuan, apologizing. I'm sorry for my little sister. Please don't take offense. Hu Feng smiled. It's fine. Little sister, it seems you care quite a bit about Long Chen. No matter what the die lands on, Long Chen would win. However, this die is what decides my fate and only relates to me. It's not useful for others. Boom. Suddenly, the world shook. A terrifying pressure crashed down, causing them to retreat. Up in the sky, the five stars within Long Chen's divine ring were blazing like suns. Evil Moon was shining brightly. Its power had soared, and it sent true immortal Jiaoki flying. Impossible. How can you possess such power? True immortal Jiaoki was stunned and infuriated. Long Chen's current power was so great that it was suppressing his Kilindrake power. Long Chen lazily rested Evil Moon on his shoulder. He was full of power. It was like his spiritual yuan had been ignited. Having refined the evil dragon soul essence, Evil Moon was actually able to form a resonance with the dragon blood in Long Chen's body. When he used his green dragon battle armor, their power was able to combine. The feeling was amazing. Evil Moon and Long Chen's power were now combined, enough to suppress true immortal Jiaoki. I already said that your little bit of power is nothing in front of me. Even if I only have a green dragon's blood flowing through my veins, it's still a true dragon. While you're just a hybrid drake, you're just a bigger serpent. In front of a true dragon, you aren't qualified to shout. Long Chen extended his forefinger and wagged it contemptuously. Bullshit. I won't believe your crap. I'll slaughter you. True immortal Jiaoki once more shot at Long Chen. His kill and halberd shining brightly. Chapter 1905 Dragon Blood Heavenly Barrier Translator. Born to be boom. Long Chen raised Evil Moon and slashed it down. Evil Moon's dragon marks lit up, and an explosive power was unleashed through it. True Immortal Jiaoki was sent flying once more. Evil Moon had finished absorbing the evil dragon soul essence, allowing it to loosen the sovereign seal. It was now able to unleash more of its power. It could no longer be compared to its previous state. Long Chen's own power was soaring as he formed a resonance with Evil Moon. Their power combined, and he once more shot after True Immortal Jiaoki. Boom. True Immortal Jiaoki's feet slammed into the ground, causing it to crumble. A wave of dust and earth unfurled. It was a shocking sight. I knew it. You're igniting your essence blood to get this power. Let's see just how long you can keep that up. True Immortal Jiaoki shouted, blocking Long Chen's attack. However, as Long Chen pressed down with Evil Moon, True Immortal Jiaoki was forced down. The earth shuddered as a large hole grew deeper and deeper beneath him. The earth was shaking, and the sky was twisting. 
it was like the world was unable to endure Long Chen's power and was on the verge of collapse. Cracking sounds rang out. Large cracks appeared in the air. What? Just how powerful are they? Even the formation can't endure it. Xia Chen's expression changed. The deformation of the earth and the twisting of this space made his formation shudder. This formation was something he had been absolutely confident in, to the point that he had estimated that even if everyone inside the barrier were to attack, it would still be able to endure it. However, as true immortal Jiaoki and Long Chen went all out, his confidence was given a blow. He looked down and saw that the Dragonblood Legion was still slaughtering the Coalition Army. The Coalition Army was already down to under 300,000 people. The Dragonblood Legion and the Martial Heaven Alliance's advantage was growing greater and greater. As long as he could maintain this formation, the opposing army would quickly be killed to the last. Xia Chen clenched his teeth, and a drop of blood flowed out of the space between his eyebrows. It condensed into a rune. Seal. The rune merged into the barrier. Ripples spread. The ripples stretched into the black yin world and absorbed its death energy to strengthen the barrier Noveloon.com however. Now Xia Chen was pale. He had used his own essence blood to strengthen the barrier. It was to allow the Dragonblood Legion to annihilate the entire coalition army. Suddenly, Huo Lian took a deep breath, and sacred chanting filled the air. Huo Lian's manifestation split apart, and a world of flames appeared within. The temperature rose. A flame giant walked out of the world of flames. It was like a giant flame spiritual god. A sacred aura came from it. As soon as it stepped out, it attacked Long Chen. The flame giant held a flame spear that caused the surrounding air to ignite. Long Chen smiled coldly, kicking true immortal Jiaoki's halberd. He sprang up, slashing at the flame spear. Black flames were surging around Evil Moon, and the instant Evil Moon clashed with the spear, black and red flames spread throughout the world. Have you come to a decision? You're prepared to expose your trump cards? How interesting. I never thought that the Heaven Dragon Flame region could actually be summoned through a manifestation. It seems the Heaven Dragon Flame region's origins are quite extraordinary. Long Chen flew back. He was wrapped by a black flame dragon that blocked the opposing flames. Long Chen recognized the world of flames within Huo Lian's manifestation. It was definitely the Heaven Dragon Flame region. True immortal Jiaoki managed to get a breather, and he stood with Huo Lian. The two opposing sides looked at each other. Killing intent blazed. You still remember the Heaven Dragon Flame region? You released one of the beasts inside. HMPH. But what you don't know is that the Heaven Dragon Flame region is a cage trapping a hundred thousand of those beasts. You only released one. The rest of them were slain by the formation. And their essence blood and soul essence were refined by me. Don't you want to see my trump cards? All right. I'll make sure you die knowing just how powerful Pill Valley's trump cards are. Huo Lian let out a shout. Blood-colored flames surged out, forming a sea of flames. Chains shot out of the Heaven Dragon Flame region. The chains pierced the flame giant's back. Blood-colored runes flowed around it, and it let out a pained roar as if it was being tormented. It suddenly let out a wail. That wail was a powerful sound wave that shattered people's eardrums. The flame giant spear once more pierced toward Long Chen. This attack was even stronger than before. Long Chen sensed that it had absorbed some kind of energy from the Heaven Dragon Flame region that was locking him down. Hence, there was no way to dodge. HMPH. Then I'll experience Pill Valley's skills. Unafraid. Long Chen slashed Evil Moon. This was an all-out slash with no technique. It was a competition of pure power. Long Chen wanted to see just how strong Evil Moon was. A giant saber image crashed down like a black river. Boom. The world shook. A ripple spread like the air was a calm lake. And a meteorite had smashed into it. Rumbling rang out. This time, Xia Chen's formation was unable to endure it. And it exploded. Xia Chen coughed up blood and was blown into the clouds. Dragon blood heavenly barrier however. Even as he was sent flying, he let out a roar. Following his roar, all the Dragonblood warriors ceased attacking. They quickly grouped together, their blood-colored scales lighting up. That light intertwined with the light coming from the other Dragonblood warriors, condensing into a giant defensive barrier that protected the Dragonblood warriors and the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples. 
The terrifying ripples spread. There was no time for some of the other experts to defend. Those experts didn't even get to make a sound. They were instantly annihilated when struck by those ripples. This was a wave of death. Wherever it went, life vanished. The immense power behind it was something only divine items could possibly resist. The human body would instantly be blown to bits. When the shock waves were passed, the majority of the coalition army was dead. Less than a hundred thousand of them remained. The surviving experts had relied on their divine items or had been protected by others. When the Dragonblood warriors released their barrier, they saw a dismal battlefield. Broken swords and sabers littered the ground, along with the remnants of wrecked corpses. It was incredibly wretched. The Grand Barrier had been destroyed, so the sunlight was shining down upon them once more. However, no one could feel its warmth. This battle was too tragic. Kill. Don't leave a single one alive. Guo Ran was the first to react. He charged toward the still dumbfounded remnants of the coalition army. The Dragonblood warriors were close behind him. Kill. Vengeance for our brothers. Bao Buping and Chang Hao led the heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples over as well. They were still filled with hatred. No matter how many enemies they killed, their fallen brothers wouldn't come back to life. However, they had to make sure those brothers could get their vengeance and rest in peace. Kill. For righteousness. For the Martial Heaven Alliance. For senior apprentice sister Yi Lingxin. The Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples also followed. Just now, those terrifying shock waves had been blocked by the Dragonblood Legion. They weren't injured. Seeing how few members of the Coalition Army were left alive, if they still didn't get revenge now, then how long were they supposed to wait? Run. The Coalition Army had already given up. Seeing that the formation had been broken, they had no urge to keep fighting. They fled for their lives. Suddenly, the ground split apart, and countless branches grew out. A giant willow tree appeared, blocking the sun with a giant wall of its branches, blocking their path. At the same time, a sword pierced through the air. One of the twelve experts of the flame divine palace that Chu Yao had been bitterly fighting against was slain by Yu Zifeng's attack. With one of them dead, the formation built by the twelve of them was broken. The remaining eleven were stunned. Endless falling wood. Wooden burial. Chu Yao suddenly let out a cry. Wooden stakes flew out, enveloping the eleven of them in a cage. The cage twisted like dough. The eleven of them were instantly crushed, with even their Yuan spirits annihilated. With the formation connecting the twelve of them, they were able to keep up with Chu Yao. However, they had already been at a disadvantage and would have eventually been defeated if things had continued like that. Yu Zifeng's attacks were incomparably sharp, and having not expected his attack, the twelve of them hadn't managed to defend against it, resulting in one of them being slain. That instantly sent them to their deaths. It's a chain reaction. Huo Liyan and the others are defeated. Long Chen's side now had Lu Ruyan and Yu Zifeng join the battlefield. The twelve experts of the Flame Divine Palace were dead, and Chu Yao was joining in as well. The scales of victory instantly tilted toward Long Chen's side. Any sense of balance was lost. Up in the sky. Long Chen was still fighting Huo Liyan. They had already exchanged three blows without determining who was stronger. True immortal Jiaoki let out a roar and was about to charge at Lu Ruyan when Huo Liyan shouted at him. Don't bother with the others. As long as we kill him, victory is still ours. Ziluo. Difang. Stop holding back. Kill Long Chen. Ziluo suddenly rapidly retreated from Yi's Hikyu's ice domain. Since that's the case. Things can end here. Suddenly, Ziluo formed new hand seals, and an immense skeleton appeared before him. Seeing that skeleton, Menki's expression changed. It's the Blue Eye Peacock. Chapter 1906 Mo Nian's Power Translator. Born to be the giant skeleton unleashed a powerful divine might. People felt a cold chill. It was like an ancient beast had reappeared and was staring at them. Zhikyu, be careful. It's the Blue Eye Peacock's corpse. Warned Meng Chi. A blue ray of light suddenly shot out from where the eyes would be on the blue eye peacock. Get out of the way. That's its divine ability shouted Meng Chi. The blue light cut across the sky. Yi's Hikyu's expression changed. And instead of facing it head on, she dodged to the side. The earth was torn asunder. Wherever the blue light passed, the world was split apart. 
The sky now looked displaced as even the flow of spastime was torn apart. Watch out. The neutral camp's experts let out startled cries and hastily flew into the air. The blue light streaked past where they were, annihilating that area. Their expressions changed. Ziluo, are you forcing me to take action? Demanded Hu Fang. His expression icy. It's just a misunderstanding, said Ziluo indifferently. Ziluo was standing on top of the blue eye peacock's head. He was finally exposing his trump card. This skeleton was the corpse of the blue eye peacock he had obtained from the nest. He had refined it into a puppet. The heavenly evil sect had a secret art to refine corpses into puppets. It could retain a portion of the corpse's divine abilities. And most terrifying of all, the corpse's power might even be able to match its power while it was still living. Regretfully, this corpse was not fully intact. Its original divine feathers had been incinerated. There wasn't even one feather thanks to Long Chen. Zi Luo had had no choice but to refine it into a skeleton puppet without its feathers. He could only activate the runes on the skeleton of the corpse to activate its divine abilities. As a result, its power had sharply dropped. The blue eye peacock could only unleash 50% of its original power. However, even 50% was enough for him to dominate those in the same realm as him. The blue eye peacock was a primordial beast. No one could block its divine abilities. As soon as the blue eye peacock appeared, Yi's Hikia was forced to retreat. Zi Luo immediately sent the blue eye peacock flying toward Long Chen. Long Chen was in the midst of fighting against Huo Liyan and true immortal Jiaoki when a blue light shot toward him. Boom. Long Chen crazily hacked Evil Moon but was still forced back by the blue light. The sky rumbled behind Long Chen. Despite trying to stabilize himself, that blue light was too powerful, and it pushed him into the distance. When the light finally ran out of energy, Long Chen coughed up a mouthful of blood. The blue eye peacock's power was truly immense. Even in his current state, he was injured. After wiping away the blood, Long Chen's eyes blazed with battle intent. He smiled. You actually turned a plucked bird into such a thing. Zi Luo, you have some skill. Zi Luo's killing intent intensified. Originally, the blue eye peacock's corpse had been perfect, but it had been half ruined by Long Chen's flames. If its corpse was intact, then even without the original true feathers, he would have been able to preserve 80% of its power. If that happened, who in the yin yang world would be able to block him? And if the corpse still had its feathers, Long Chen would probably have died from that attack. He would have never had a chance to mock him. Stop wasting time. Kill Long Chen immediately shouted Huo Liyan, once more attacking with his flame giant. Kill and Drake merger, bloodline summoning, ancestral spirit possession. True immortal Jiaoki also let out a shout. An image of a Killin and a Drake appeared on his forehead. The power of his blood chi skyrocketed. It was like divine flames were burning around him. He's actually using his ancestral power. They're not planning on stopping until Long Chen is dead. The neutral camp's experts were shocked. They treat Long Chen as someone they must kill here. Clearly, they're all right with leaving anyone other than him alive. When comparing Long Chen to the Dragonblood Legion and the Martial Heaven Alliance's geniuses, they clearly cared more about eliminating Long Chen. They viewed him as a greater threat than everyone else added together. Huo Liyan's tactics aren't wrong. As long as the Dragonblood Legion and the Martial Heaven Alliance are present, with Long Chen's character, he won't leave even if he has to fight to the death. However, if they get destroyed, Long Chen won't have anything holding him back. He'd leave. And then considering his talent and ruthless character, those powers would have to live in fear for the rest of their lives. It was no wonder Huo Liyan wasn't focusing on the Dragonblood Legion or the Martial Heaven Alliance. He was using those people to keep Long Chen here. He truly understood Long Chen. HMPH. I only view Long Chen as a real hero. The rest of them are fakes, said one Empyrean. In his eyes, Long Chen was the only one worthy of that title. It's too bad his character is too obvious. His enemies already know how to bait him into traps easily. Long Chen is Long Chen. This is his flaw, but it's not always a bad thing. It's because of this flaw that he has a group of people willing to follow him unto death. Other than the sovereigns. Has there ever been someone with such charisma? Someone capable of making countless people risk their lives alongside them. For a moment, 
the neutral camp's people were silent. From the eastern wasteland to the central plains, Long Chen had fought through countless despicable traps and countless life and death battles. But this characteristic of his had never changed. He never bowed his head. Such a person looked a bit foolish and lacked flexibility. However, there was no choice but to admit that he possessed unmatched charisma. They looked at the dragon blood warriors slaughtering their enemies on the battlefield. Even this new army of the Martial Heaven Alliance possessed amazing morale. That was his charisma. Even as spectators, they were unknowingly affected by it. Having an urge to join the battle. Long Chen, you'll be dying without a burial today. On the battlefield, Huo Lian, true immortal Jiaoki, and Zi Luo had surrounded Long Chen, making sure he had nowhere to run. Having a burial isn't important. What's important is that you don't have that ability, said Long Chen fearlessly, just as the three of them were fighting. On the other side, Di Feng was fighting Mo Nian. Divine light flowed around Di Feng. He was wearing divine armor, wielding his divine spear, and now there was a giant five-colored divine ring behind him. This divine ring was different from Long Chen's. Its five colors were absorbing the energy of the five elements for Di Feng. His spear, armor, and divine ring were a rare set of divine items. They were part of the Di family's inheritance and relied on bloodline power to be activated. His three divine items were at full power, but he was unable to charge past Mo Nian's blockade. The two large figures in Mo Nian's manifestation were forming hand seals, transmitting divine light into Mo Nian's body. As for the five element sun hunting bow in his hand, each arrow it shot out caused the world to dim. It was blazing as intensely as the sun. Rumor was that when the five element sun hunting bow was at full power, it could shoot down the sun and pierce the moon. It was unknown what trump card Mo Nian had activated, but his power was so great that he was evenly matched against Di Feng. Mo Nian's power was out of Huo Lian's expectations. His original plan was for the four of them to go all out and kill Long Chen before eliminating the others. This was the mission that Pill Valley had given him. He was to make sure that the other powers suffered a bit so they would go against the Martial Heaven Alliance. Once Long Chen and the others were dead, those powers would band together to deal the final nail in the coffin to the Martial Heaven Alliance. He had gone above and beyond the first part of his mission. The large powers had suffered immense losses, far beyond any expectations. Now the question was whether or not they could kill Long Chen. Attack! Huo Lian suddenly shouted his spear piercing toward Long Chen. True immortal Jiaoki and Zi Luo followed. Long Chen was the crux. He had to be killed. Now that things had developed to this point, they could not permit him to leave here alive. As long as the Dragonblood Legion was still here, there was no way Long Chen would flee on his own. This was their best chance to kill him. With the three of them joining hands, divine light exploded. Each attack was a peerless killing blow. Evil Moon was also shining with divine light, and a dragon cry resounded through the air. Long Chen was unleashing all his power. Dragon might sort out as he blocked their attacks. This isn't his power but his sabers. He won't be able to last long, shouted Huo Lian, noticing this oddity. Evil Moon was emitting a grand dragon might, and the majority of their attacks were blocked by it. Long Chen himself was enduring very little of their power. So even though he was fighting three against one, he was able to last for a while. Just as they were fighting, the sky shuddered. A group of experts came flying over. When that group appeared, the remaining 30,000 members of the coalition army let out a cheer. Bastards of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Now you're dead. Chapter 1907 Endless Sea of Lightning Translator. Born to be that's. When that group appeared, the people in the neutral camp were stunned. As soon as they arrived, the deos of the world were suppressed. They were a group of peerless experts. Are they nether passage experts? Asked someone with a shuddering voice. That was because the aura of this group was absolutely terrifying. It was like they were the rulers of this world. No, they aren't at the nether passage realm. They're only life star experts. However, they're all powerful empyreans. So the pressure of their auras is on the same level as ordinary nether passage experts, said Hu Fang. Impossible. Isn't it impossible for life star experts to enter the yin yang world? Have the rules of the yin yang world changed? The yin yang world's rules haven't changed. However, rules are dead, while humans are alive. 
said Hu Fang. You mean to say, those experts broke through in the yin yang world? That was crazy. A group of over 3,000 Empyreans had actually broken through to the life star realm in the yin yang world and sacrificed all their future prospects just to kill Long Chen. That price was terrifying. They are really ruthless. This also proves that they want to make sure the Dragonblood Legion and the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples can't escape. Based on their auras, these people have just broken through to the Life Star Realm. They had to have undergone their tribulations just as the two armies met, said Hu Feng sharply. These people were definitely insane and very frightening. He waved his hand. Get further away from the battlefield. The farther the better although their group was neutral. They were now witnessing a group of madmen. No one could guarantee that they wouldn't do something even more insane. Kill. Those 3,000 Empyreans that had just broken through to the Life Star Realm charged toward the Dragonblood Legion. I'll handle you. Guo Ran was the first to face them. He hacked his golden saber, and as a result, he was sent flying by a Life Star Empyrean sword. He almost coughed up blood. Guo Ran was alarmed. These people were actually shockingly powerful. Bastards. How can they be so strong? They've already broken through to the Life Star Realm, and they are Empyreans whose manifestations have reached an initial level of awakening. As they now possess a Life Star Expert's world energy, we'll definitely be at a disadvantage in a direct clash, said Meng Chi. Then what do we do? Guo Ran actually had no ideas. Over 3,000 Life Star Empyreans with manifestations that had started to awaken? What could they possibly do against them? We should break through to the Life Star Realm and go all out against them, shouted one of the Dragonblood Warriors. Don't say that. Then we'll never be able to progress to Nether Passage, shouted Guo Ran. Everyone, retreat and summon the Dragonblood Heavenly Barrier, shouted Long Chen suddenly. Following his shout, Meng Chi, Chu Yao. Tang Wanur, Cloud, Lu Ruian, Xia Chen, Guo Ran, Gu Yang, Yu Zifeng, Li Qi, Song Mingguan, Yu Xiaokian, Yi Zhikyu, and the other experts stopped fighting their opponents and retreated. The Dragonblood warriors formed a strange formation, and they made sure to protect all the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples within. Pillars of blood qi soared out of each of their bodies. Xia Chen floated in the air the giant formation disc spinning above him. Suddenly, the formation disc exploded. Its particles enveloped them all. Dragon Blood Heavenly Barrier Xia Chen let out a cry. A giant barrier appeared around everyone. The power of the Dragon Blood Warriors was linked with Dragon Blood. It was that energy that condensed into this giant barrier. HMPH, we abandoned our futures just to kill you. Do you think resisting will have any use? Those Life Star experts had sinister expressions. Which of them had been willing to abandon their futures? However, they had had no choice. If they didn't obey, they would be killed. They were geniuses raised by various large sects. They were extremely talented and originally had limitless prospects. However, they didn't have any powerful backgrounds themselves. So they were forced into this plan. These orders were something they had no choice but to obey. So they themselves were filled with hatred and resentment. Now they were releasing all that anger on the Dragonblood Legion. Berserk attack struck the barrier. That power was immense. In unison, every Dragonblood warrior coughed up a mouthful of blood. In the very first clash, they were injured. They're too powerful. We can't last for long. Xia Chen's expression changed. We'll help. Meng Chi, Tang Wanur, Yu Xiaokian, Yu Zifeng and the others began to transmit their own spiritual yuan into the Dragonblood Warriors to strengthen the defenses. There's us as well. What do we do? Yi Lingxian and the others shouted. Willow branches sprouted from the ground. Lu Ruian said, Transmit your spiritual yuan to me, and I will transmit it to the Dragonblood Warriors. Hearing that, the disciples of the Martial Heaven Alliance poured in their spiritual yuan. The barrier rumbled, with everyone working together. The barrier managed to endure. This should be your final trump card. Correct? Then we can go all out. Long Chen suddenly shouted, and his upper robes exploded, revealing his upper body. The green scales covering his body suddenly darkened, becoming black. As blood spurted out from between them, a pillar of light soared into the sky, infecting the sky with darkness. An evil aura caused the sky to shudder. 
Long Chen's aura was crazily rising, growing stronger and stronger. Huo Lian, Ziluo, and true immortal Jiaoki were actually blown back by just that terrifying aura. They stared in shock at Long Chen. The current Long Chen looked evil, bloodthirsty, domineering, and emotionless, like a fiend from hell that was slowly recovering its power. What's going on? roared true immortal Jiaoki. This power actually made him feel fear. It's that weapon of his. He's powering it to strengthen himself, said Huo Lian. He noticed black chi flowing out of Evil Moon and into Long Chen. Long Chen's scales were turned black by them. It was like an evil dragon was about to burst out of Long Chen's body. His physical body was tearing, and blood continued to pour out of him. Are you able to endure? asked Evil Moon. Long Chen's physical body was too weak to endure its full power. Evil Moon could only transmit a portion of its energy into Long Chen, forcing his body to the limit. That was the only way they could go all out. However, this kind of power naturally came with an immense backlash. One mistake and his meridians would be broken. However, this was Long Chen's only remaining move. I'll endure it. Long Chen clenched his teeth. His physical body was constantly tearing and healing. He was in indescribable pain, but he had to endure. Boom. Suddenly, the world shook. Long Chen's scales were fully black now. His aura was finally no longer spreading. All right, this level of power should be enough to use all the available power I have. Go, Long Chen. Make this world tremble because of us. Slaughter and roar as much as you please. Evil Moon let out a roar filled with killing intent. Its soul formed a resonance with Long Chen's soul. Long Chen suddenly let out a heaven-shaking roar. Mountains collapsed, and all the experts felt a chill. This roar was the overture of a slaughter. Long Chen's voice had become deep as if he was a different person. It was merciless and domineering, as well as filled with a determination to charge forward regardless of what lay before him. Long Chen took a step forward, and true immortal Jiaoki went to block him. Divine light erupted from his kill and halberd. Scram. Boom. Long Chen let out a simple slash of evil moon. Black light flowed out of it, and true immortal Jiaoki's arms were instantly broken. His halberd smashed into his own chest, and he was sent flying back, hacking up blood. Long Chen's power had risen to a monstrous level. Evil Moon was finally able to use some of its power, and in this state, true immortal Jiaoki was actually unable to receive a single attack. A black saber image sliced through the air, attacking the Life Star Empyreans. Those Life Star Empyreans had no choice but to stop attacking the Dragon Blood Legion and focus on blocking Long Chen's attack. Boom. Those Life Star Empyreans were blown back by Long Chen's saber. Die. Long Chen suddenly charged toward them, unleashing a tempest of attacks with Evil Moon. One Life Star Empyrean after another was blown to bits. Even divine items were blown apart. Heavens. Long Chen is absolutely heaven defying. He can even fight across realms against Life Star Empyreans with partly awoken manifestations the neutral camp's experts jaws dropped. No one had expected Long Chen to possess such a terrifying trump card. In the blink of an eye, Long Chen had killed 18 of those Empyreans. It had to be known that each of them was a terrifying existence. When it came to combat power, they were only the slightest hair weaker than Huo Lian, Ziluo, and true immortal Jiaoki. However, they weren't a match for Long Chen in his current state. But then again, 18 of them dead meant nothing to this army of 3,000. Those experts quickly recovered from their shock. However, they had just gathered when a lightning dragon appeared behind Long Chen. It rapidly spun, forming a giant lightning channel. A world of lightning could be seen within that channel. Brothers, come slaughter them all. Long Chen suddenly roared, following his cry. Countless lightning drakes came flying out of the lightning portal. Chapter 1908 The Dragon Blood Attack Translator Born to be wild lightning poured out of the channel, turning the world into a sea of lightning. All of a sudden, terrifying roars rang out as millions of lightning drakes flew out of the channel, running rampant and attacking the Life Star Empyreans as well as the rest of the Coalition Army. Long Chen was immersed in the lightning. Lai Long continued to spin behind him. He was like a god of lightning. These lightning drakes were the life forms of the Morning Dao lightning field. Long Chen had previously made an agreement with the master of the lightning field. As long as he needed it, 
the lightning field's life forms would have to listen to him. Long Chen was finally unleashing this trump card. The lightning drakes crazily attacked the coalition army. What are these things? The life star Empyreans roared. They were forced to defend against the lightning drakes furious attacks. Although the lightning drakes were temporarily unable to injure them, they did cause their bodies to go numb and slow their movements. The invasion of Thunder Force was very uncomfortable. When they attacked the lightning drakes, the lightning drakes would explode and then immediately reform to attack them once again. There was no end to them. Suddenly, a pair of lightning wings appeared on Long Chen's back. They were exceptionally bright and tore through the air. Die. Long Chen suddenly flew forward. Attack together. This lightning sea will only disappear once Long Chen is dead. Shouted Huo Lian. He was the first to attack Long Chen. As a result, Huo Lian was sent flying by Long Chen's saber. At the same time, the huge lightning wings on Long Chen's back slammed down. Huo Lian coughed up a mouthful of blood. The flame giant he had summoned was cracked. Almost shattering. The sundering lightning heavenly wings are as powerful as expected. Long Chen was delighted. Perhaps this paragon art could only unleash its full potential in this lightning field. Just at this moment, true immortal Jiaoki and Ziluo came charging over. However, Long Chen's wings shook, and he vanished. When he reappeared, he was already amongst the group of life star Empyreans. Heavenly saber images soared out of Evil Moon. At the same time, his lightning wings hacked up and down, forming a ring of death. Those life star Empyreans were unable to receive a single blow from him. As a result, each of Long Chen's attacks killed someone. Heavens, Long Chen is heaven defying. Just how terrifying is this paragon art? The neutral camp's experts were standing outside the sea of lightning. Their voices shuddered as they witnessed this terrifying sight of Long Chen slaughtering the life star Empyreans, the lightning drakes, the sundering lightning heavenly wings and Evil Moon were creating a song of death. That song sounded like exploding flesh, and it was hair-raising. Long Chen's invincible. On his own, he's actually able to stop this army. Even without the Dragonblood Legion and the Martial Heaven Alliance, he'd be able to beat all these experts. Hu Fang, who was staring closely at the seemingly undefeatable Long Chen, shook his head. No matter how strong a person is, they still have a limit. A powerful move comes with a large price. Long Chen might look invincible now, but it doesn't mean he can stay in that state forever. He's burning up energy as he fights, and he can't last long. Furthermore, there are 3,000 life star Empyreans. It's difficult to say how long he'll be able to hold out for. Long Chen was unleashing a barrage of attacks. Over a hundred life star Empyreans had been slain by him. However, after all, they were life star Empyreans. Each of them was an amazing genius who had given up their future prospects for their current power. It was all to kill him. Their power might not be a perfect match for Nether Passage experts, but they were only slightly weaker. Long Chen's power was truly shocking, but he was using up a huge amount of energy. Don't be afraid. This is just his final burst of energy. Spread out and exhaust him, shouted Huo Lian. He resummoned his flame giant and charged back into the battlefield. You're right. I can't last that long. At most, I can only keep it up to the sixth month of next year, said Long Chen as he attacked. The sundering lightning heavenly wings weren't just useful for killing. They were also a movement paragon art. Within this lightning field, he could move freely. Those life star Empyreans listened to Huo Lian's orders and spread out. As a result, killing them became much easier. He no longer needed to worry about being attacked by others when he struck, resulting in his efficiency going up. Gather together and protect each other. Huo Lian suddenly noticed that spreading out was a mistake. They had to stick together to make Long Chen worried about facing counterattacks. There might even be a chance to injure him. Those life star Empyreans hastily regathered. However, some of the more isolated ones were still picked off before they could gather. After the experts gathered, they concentrated their attacks. As a result, Long Chen was forced to retreat. Seeing that, the Life Star Empyreans were delighted. They had finally found a way to counter Long Chen. This way, he wouldn't be able to approach them, and they could exhaust him. Long Chen tried charging over three times in a row, but before he could even launch an attack, 
they would launch a collective strike, forcing him away and making him cough up blood. Long Chen had killed over 300 Life Star Empyreans, but that was only a tenth of their numbers. Now that they were gathered together, even someone like Yan Nanshan would have to treat them seriously. Kill him just like this, shouted Huo Lian upon seeing that this was effective. Now that everyone was attacking together, if they could land a good blow, there might even be a chance of killing Long Chen. HMPH, I refuse to believe that someone can block me, shouted Long Chen. He charged back at the army of Life Star Empyreans. Die. The Life Star Empyreans were delighted. Raising their divine items, they activated their power. The energy of over 2,000 experts was gathered. This power was enough to annihilate anyone, and Long Chen was no exception. Boom. Their attacks gathered and blasted forth, and Long Chen was instantly devoured by that wave of divine power. It's over. The neutral camp's experts sighed. No one would be able to survive such concentrated attacks. Qi Xuan let out a wail. Crying, she closed her eyes, not wanting to see Long Chen's corpse. Chi Fengsu also shut her eyes sadly. Long Chen was too arrogant to actually charge directly at so many terrifying experts. Amongst them had even been Zi Luo, true immortal Jiaoki, Huo Lian, and other peak experts. However, at the next moment, space twisted, and Long Chen's figure reappeared in another location. What startled cries rang out. Long Chen had only been faking his attack. The instant that they had launched their collective attack, he had used the sundering lightning heavenly wings to dodge. Long Chen had Evil Moon on his shoulder. He waved toward the Life Star Empyreans in goodbye with a sinister smile. Not good. We've been taken in. Huo Lian's expression suddenly changed. He sensed mortal danger, and it was coming from behind them. Dragonblood cross slash. Suddenly, a roar rang out. The Dragonblood warriors shouted in unison, all their dragon scales shining brightly. Guo Ran was standing at the front, and all the Dragonblood warriors' energy was pouring into him. Guo Ran then crossed his sabers before him. A giant cross-shaped beam of energy shot out. The center of the cross was those Life Star Empyreans who had gathered together for their own protection. Boom. The giant cross beam slammed into them. They had just unleashed their strongest move and relaxed upon thinking that Long Chen was dead, not realizing that the real danger was behind them. As a result, flesh and blood flew. This was an attack using all the Dragonblood Legion's energy. Hence, it left a ripple of death as it passed through the air. The Life Star Empyreans struck at the core of the attack were instantly annihilated. As for the rest, the ripple of death also blew them apart. Only those at the very edge managed to escape this tribulation. However, they were heavily injured. Some of them had even lost half their bodies. After this one attack, the originally 2600 experts were cut down to just 500. Furthermore, half of them were heavily injured. Some people only had their heads left. This attack was absolutely vicious. It had displayed unimaginable killing power when used against this concentrated group of unprepared experts. The neutral camp's experts were dumbfounded. They couldn't believe their eyes. This shocking reversal was outside any of their expectations. However, some had already realized that this had been planned by Long Chen. At first, Long Chen had been slaughtering those Life Star Empyreans, and so Huo Lian gave the order to gather together. After that, Long Chen acted like gathering together put him in mortal danger, and so he baited them into attacking him drawing their attention for the Dragonblood Legion to launch their sneak attack. Using himself as bait, Long Chen had drawn all the attention of the Life Star Empyreans. As a result, right as they unleashed their all-out attack, the Dragonblood Legion suddenly scattered their defenses, instead launching a peerless attack. The cooperation between the two had been seamless. By the time Huo Lian reacted, it was already over. Kill. Just at this time, Gu Yang. Yu Zifeng, Li Qi, Song Mingguan, Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, Yi Zhikyu, Yi Lingxian, and the others charged toward the chaotic leftovers of the Life Star Empyreans. Chapter 1909 Evil Spirit Hell, Heavenly Evil Death Blow Translator, Born to Be I Seals the Land, World of Absolute Zero, the most terrifying one was Yi Zhikyu. Her manifestation unleashed a terrifying cold wave. 
It was so cold that Jis Hikiu had to distance herself from her allies as her ice domain was too terrifying. The surviving life star Empyreans were mostly injured, and some were even on the verge of death. When this terrifying ice chi struck them, they were powerless to resist. They instantly transformed into ice statues. In the next instant, the statues would crack, eventually shattering into ice powder. If they weren't injured, these powerful life star Empyreans would be able to rely on their cultivation base and world energy to resist Jis Hikyu's ice chi. But now the ice chi became a killing blow. Those life star Empyreans shattered one by one. The mildly injured ones tried to resist, but before they could run, they were slain by Yi's Hikyu's ice sword. That ice sword was a precious treasure of the Divine Ice Palace. Yi's Hikyu was just the prelude. Yu Zifeng's sword took the life of a life star Empyrean with each attack. He never missed. The body of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow appeared in the sky. Flying back and forth, Cloud targeted the life star Empyreans that were further away and might escape. In front of her terrifying speed, running was a joke. Lu Ruian and Chu Yao were in control of the entire battlefield. The body of the undying willow spread, and the two of them prevented this group from running. Gu Yang, Li Qi, Song Mingguan, Yi Lingxian, and the others pounced on the life star Empyreans. On the other hand, the dragon blood warriors were bringing up the rear. The big attack had sucked up all their energy. However, using up all their energy on that one attack had been entirely worth it. Not a scrap of their energy had been wasted. It could even be described as the winning blow. There were less than 500 surviving life star Empyreans, and with the majority of them injured, they were hunted down miserably without having time to heal. Worst of all, the lightning drakes that Long Chen had summoned were still attacking them. As for Long Chen himself, his black scales were still shining, and his giant lightning wings were in constant motion. His fight against Huo Lian, Ziluo, and true immortal Jiaoki was actually growing more intense. I said that I could last until the sixth month of next year, but it seems you won't even be able to last a day, said Long Chen. His attacks made his three opponents sweat. You're just bragging. I refuse to believe it, howled true immortal Jiaoki as he continued to crazily fight. As a result, he was sent flying by a strike from Long Chen's saber. Long Chen's current power was so great that true immortal Jiaoki was nothing. If it weren't for Huo Lian and Zi Luo fighting alongside him, then considering his foolish way of fighting in head-on clashes like this, he would have long since been killed by Long Chen. Long Chen was actually in a rush. While these lightning drakes were coming from another world, he was the one providing the energy to keep the spatial channel open. Maintaining that channel didn't just require a huge amount of spiritual yuan but also the power of his yuan spirit. His yuan spirit was already feeling like it was going to tear apart. He was overdrafting his spiritual strength. Lasting until the sixth month of next year was definitely a joke. He wouldn't even be able to last half a day. His big words were just used to intimidate his enemies. However, even if it was just a bluff, Long Chen's power backed up his words. Lightning continued to surge throughout this world, pressuring the life star Empyreans. Without the interference of these lightning drakes, the sneak attack of the Dragonblood Legion wouldn't have had such effect. Just at this moment, the lightning channel shuddered and Long Chen's expression twitched. Suddenly, the lightning drakes gave up on their opponents and shot straight back to the lightning channel. Damn it, my Yuan spirit is out of power. I can't maintain the channel. The lightning field is automatically summoning the lightning drakes back. Long Chen's heart shook. This lightning paragon art was a kind of law and also a kind of contract. He could summon the lightning field's energy to help him fight, but he had to maintain the channel. As the channel ran out of energy, once it was about to collapse, it would trigger the lightning field's laws. At that time, the lightning field would automatically keep the channel open but only for a few seconds to draw back all the lightning energy belonging to it. In less than a breath's time, all the lightning filling this world vanished. The lightning channel behind Long Chen closed and vanished. His paragon art has reached its limit. We can still kill him, roared Huo Lian. He recalled his flame giant, instead taking out a diagram. When that diagram appeared, everyone's expressions changed. The Brahma Divine Diagram. This diagram was Pill Valley's peerless treasure. 
the Brahma divine diagram. The void trembled around it, and a ray of divine light shot toward Long Chen. Long Chen's lightning wings hastily brought him away. Long Chen knew that if he was enveloped by that light, he would be drawn into the Brahma divine diagram. If he was trapped inside, it would only take a few breaths time for Huo Lian, true immortal Jiaoki, and Ziluo to attack the dragon blood legion and cause an unbearable result. Huo Lian suddenly clapped his hands together, his forehead split open, and drops of essence blood flew out, transforming into lotus runes that merged into the Brahma divine diagram. He began to chant a scripture, and more of his essence blood flowed into it. The Brahma divine diagram began shining brightly. The mountains and rivers, the sun, moon, and stars within the diagram began to quiver. Rays of divine light shot out at Long Chen. Clearly, Huo Lian's power was not at the realm of being able to control the Brahma divine diagram. He was forced to offer up his essence blood to activate it. That was a self-destructive method. He no longer had any choice. If he didn't, there would be no way to suppress Long Chen, and then their entire mission would end in failure. The Brahma divine diagram erupted with divine light thanks to Huo Lian's essence blood. That light crashed down on Long Chen. This time, there was nowhere to run. Huo Lian was forcing him into a head-on clash. Fuck. So he still had such a move. I can only go all out. The divine light of the Brahma divine diagram filled the world. Long Chen had nowhere to run. So he raised Evil Moon, pointing it at the sky. A black saber image condensed in the air, piercing the dome of the sky. A fierce will erupted. That was a will to slice through the restrictions of heaven and earth. A will to charge through any tribulations. A will to slaughter anyone who tried to stop him, be it a man or a god. Split the heavens seven. The black saber image crashed down like a black river of stars, striking the Brahma divine diagram. Boom. The entire world instantly lost all its color. Terrifying divine might exploded, and the world turned dark. The void rumbled and shook. Fragments of spastime clashed, unleashing giant ripples. It was like heaven and earth had been separated, turning into two separate worlds. All the experts present were sent flying. This was a truly world-destroying exchange. Every expert was sent flying into the distance. It was unknown just how far some of them flew. This was a blow that almost shattered the wall of this world. Long Chen and Huo Lian were both pale as paper, hacking up blood. Cracks had appeared all over their bodies. The huge backlash was something that neither Evil Moon nor the Brahma Divine Diagram could block, causing their two masters to almost be killed. Long Chen extracted the life energy inside the primal chaos bead, instantly healing. He shot toward Huo Lian, wanting to eliminate the latter while he was still injured. Long Chen definitely couldn't give him another chance to activate the Brahma Divine Diagram. He was taking advantage of the primal chaos space. Just as he moved, a giant figure appeared behind him. It was a giant killin with an extra long tail. Blood chi and flame soared out of it. It was true immortal Jiaoki. He had taken this form through igniting his blood soul and essence blood. After he opened his mouth, the killin halberd actually shot out of it. Killin Blood Soul Attack. This was the strongest divine ability of the Killin Drake race and was something true immortal Jiaoki could only unleash by igniting his blood soul and essence blood. That was a terrifying price. But this move was also a peerless attack. Split the heavens seven. Long Chen roared again. Boom. Long Chen miserably flew back. Tumbling back and coughing up blood. His entire body hurt. It felt like he was about to collapse. Damn it. The yin yang immortal grass is out of energy. Long Chen's expression changed. The first time he had activated the seventh form of split the heavens, his meridians had received a heavy impact. However, the next time he used it, the yin yang immortal grass had helped him bear the impact. He had learned from it. Hence, he had borrowed the power of the root of the yin yang immortal grass in the primal chaos space for this. It had only grown to around 300 meters. And after enduring the impact of this attack twice, it was starting to wither. That meant that he couldn't use the seventh form of split the heavens again, or his meridians wouldn't be able to bear it. Evil spirit hell. Heavenly evil death blow. Just at this moment, a giant blood-colored figure appeared. It had a pair of bat-like wings, and it held a crescent moon blood blade in its hand, slashing it at Long Chen. 
Even before its blade reached him, a terrifying air of death enveloped Long Chen. The howls of ghosts and gods could be heard. This blade was like a fiend's tooth mercilessly slicing toward him. Long Chen forced himself to stand and took a deep breath. Such a terrifying attack could only be blocked by the seventh form of split the heavens. He had no other choice. Either his meridians broke, or he died. He chose the former. Just as Long Chen was about to force his meridians to their breaking point to activate the seventh form of split the heavens, a figure appeared before him. A jade-like hand stretched out, slashing a white bone sword at the crescent moon blood blade. Chapter 1910 Heaven Shaking Bone Sword Translator Born to be boom, a powerful chi wave exploded. The huge blood blade was actually forced back by the seemingly ordinary bone sword. Everyone was stunned, and they stared at the figure that had appeared. She was a peerless beauty, looking like a masterpiece crafted by a god. Staring into her sapphire eyes was like staring into the deep blue sea. Her beauty was such that there was no flaw to pick out. Even the hair of her left and right eyebrows were perfectly symmetrical. The curves of her body weren't too big or too small. Her beauty was such that it made people forget to breathe. It was a beauty that should not exist in this world. However, that beautiful face was icy, and killing intent surrounded her. She wasn't intentionally releasing that killing intent. It was simply part of her, part of her flesh, part of her bones, and part of her soul. It was like she lived to kill. Although she was a peerless beauty, no one dared to look at her directly. It was like just looking at her was putting their lives in danger. Len Yuian, what are you doing? Roared Ziluo, shocked and infuriated. This woman was the one with the most perfect body, the most perfect face, the cold-blooded and merciless Len Yuian. I'm not doing anything. I owed Long Chen two debts. I paid him back one, and now I'm paying back the other. So, if you don't want to die, scram. Len Yuian's sapphire eyes were completely calm. Her voice contained unquestionable resolve. She was like a supreme empress, a superior being that no one else could contest. Long Chen slowly rose and looked at Len Yuian. He felt conflicting feelings. He couldn't say exactly what he was feeling upon seeing her. This action of Len Yuian's was definitely betraying the corrupt path. Yuian, get out of the way. This matter has nothing to do with you. Long Chen took a deep breath. His spiritual yuan circulated throughout his body as he prepared to continue the fight. He didn't want to implicate Len Yuian. His pride didn't allow him to hide behind a woman, no matter how strong that woman was. Len Yuian slowly looked back at him. Her flawless face actually smiled. You're very stubborn. I like it very much. However, I never change what I say. You showed mercy against me twice, so I will repay you twice. Whether or not you want to accept my payback, you'll still have to accept it. When Len Yuian said this, everyone in the neutral camp was stunned. The devil empress famed for her cold and merciless nature. Someone who has slaughtered everyone who expressed the slightest romantic interest in her. Actually said that she likes Long Chen. Heaven defying. Absolutely heaven defying. I've long since heard that Long Chen's charisma is unmatched and is irresistible to both men and women. Not only does he have countless life and death brothers following him, but he is also accompanied by several peerlessly beautiful women. However, I never expected the devil empress to have also fallen into his hands. Long Chen is like a god. Amongst the Martial Heaven Alliance's junior generation, there was a saying that there were three kinds of people in this world. Men, women, and Len Yuian. Len Yuian was her own category. She was a killer and anyone who had dared to provoke her had been killed by her. The corrupt path's three kings were said to be the top geniuses of the corrupt path, but even they didn't dare to provoke Len Yuian because she was too dangerous. Hearing the words that she was saying to Long Chen, people found it inconceivable. Long Chen was truly powerful. He was a real man. Even such a monstrous woman had been captured by him. Are you betraying the corrupt path? demanded Ziluo. I already said that I'm returning a debt. I don't like repeating myself. So decide for yourself whether you want to live or die. Len Yuian turned back to Ziluo, her smile vanishing. Ziluo was enraged. Len Yuian was treating him indifferently, despite him being the corrupt path's top genius and the descendant of Zi Wentian, thus making him the future leader of the corrupt path. With a roar, 
he slashed his crescent moon blade at Len Yuian once more. This time, whales came from within Ziluo's manifestation. It was unknown what secret art he was using, but black runes covered his body. Even his fellow corrupt kings, Miang Jie and Ji Yuai Yan, were not figures that he cared about. They were unable to shake his position. However, Len Yuian could. He had always viewed Len Yuian as a threat, but due to certain misjivings, he had never attacked her. Now, he finally had an excuse to kill her. As long as she died, no one would be able to fight him for the top spot of the corrupt path. Heavenly evil world shaking slash. Ziluo's attack was something that caused even Long Chen's expression to change. It was even stronger than his previous attack. Clearly, Ziluo was going all out to kill Len Yuian. Just as Long Chen was taking a deep breath and preparing himself to risk his meridians to block this attack, a figure appeared behind Len Yuian. That figure was very indistinct, but it was identical to her true body. However, this figure was a giant whose body pierced the clouds. A sacred and divine aura spread and shook the souls of everyone present. They couldn't help feeling an urge to prostrate themselves. That figure behind Len Yuian was like a god. Everyone could only lay down before its feet. People were shocked as they had never seen such a manifestation. The most terrifying thing was the divine might coming from that figure. It made them feel like they couldn't resist. When that figure appeared, the barrier separated the Yin world and the Yang world in the Yin Yang Valley suddenly exploded. The Yin world's death energy suddenly surged toward Len Yuian, seeming to prostrate itself before her. Len Yuian's bone sword swung through the air. Boom. Half a blood blade flew into the sky and vanished. While Zi Luo coughed up blood, flying back, his manifestation dissipated. Startled cries rang out. That terrifying blade in Zi Luo's hand had actually been severed. That peerless divine item had been destroyed by Len Yuian's bone sword. Len Yuian unleashed another slash of her sword. When her slash started, she was still in her original location. But when her sword fell, she strangely appeared right in front of Zi Luo. Zi Luo's expression changed. He hastily raised his severed blood blade to block. As a result, it was cut through as easily as tofu. Not only that, but half of Zi Luo's body was severed. Blood spurted. Zi Luo let out a cry as he flew back. Fortunately, he had instinctively moved his head at the last moment, or Len Yuian's attack would have taken his life. He had just moved when Len Yuian's next attack came slashing toward him. However, a giant skeleton suddenly appeared in front of Zi Luo. The blue eye peacock was blown to bits by a single strike of Len Yuian's bone sword. However, it had managed to block her. Zi Luo managed to escape. With Zi Luo fleeing, Len Yuian suddenly turned her bone sword toward True Immortal Jiaoki. True Immortal Jiaoki blocked her with the Killin Halberd, and as a result, it was also severed by her bone sword. That Killin Halberd actually let out a mournful cry. How is that possible? Len Yuian's bone sword had severed Zi Luo's crescent moon blood blade and True Immortal Jiaoki's Killin Halberd. Those two divine items were terrifying half-step divine items and top tier amongst the half-step divine item classification. Their inheritance stretched back countless years, and they had been nourished by many generations of experts. They had given birth to spirits and had immense power. Yet, they were broken by Len Yuian's seemingly unremarkable bone sword. Even Long Chen was dumbfounded. Just when had Len Yuian become so terrifying? Why was it that every time he saw her again? Her power became even more monstrous. She practically wasn't human. With his kill and halberd severed, True Immortal Jiaoki was struck in the shoulder. One of True Immortal Jiaoki's giant arms left his body. Although True Immortal Jiaoki was very powerful, his head was clearly lacking some brains. In his fury, he used his other hand to smash the half kill and halberd at Len Yuian's face. Len Yuian smiled coldly. Her bone sword. Slicing toward true immortal Jiaoki's head. She was quick as lightning, completely ignoring his halberd. Suddenly, true immortal Jiaoki was knocked back by a flame hammer, allowing him to escape Len Yuian's killer sword. Instead, her sword cut across his chest, leaving a line of blood. When that cut appeared, his expression changed. His chest began to turn black at a frightening rate. Terrifying death energy was invading his body. Be careful. 
She can control the Yun Yang world's death energy. It was Huo Lian who had saved true immortal Jiaoki. He turned the Brahma Divine Diagram at Len Yuian. Boom. Len Yuian's sword struck the Divine Diagram. It was sent flying, but it wasn't damaged. Clearly, it was so terrifying that even Len Yuian's bone sword couldn't damage it. The Brahma Divine Diagram was one of Pill Valley's most precious treasures. It was on the same level as the Danite Furnace. Legend had it that they had been refined by gods. Now the difference was clear. Although only a Nether Passage expert could unleash the true power of a divine item, powerful Empyreans were still able to unleash a bit of their power. Many divine items were destroyed because their master's cultivation bases limited them, making them unable to unleash their full power. They felt very irritated as they were destroyed by other divine items. However, now the quality of the divine items was shown. The Brahma Divine Diagram was on a level that not even the Killin Halberd or the Crescent Moon Blood Blade could compare to. Let's go. Huo Lian waved his hand, and the Brahma Divine Diagram folded up. He pulled true immortal Jiaoki back, chasing after the fleeing Ziluo. Chapter 1911 The Yun World's Blood Race Translator Born to be Huo Lian turned several shades wider when he blocked Len Yuian's attack. To use the Brahma Divine Diagram he had used up a huge amount of his essence blood. His combat power had already dropped from his peak, and to kill Long Chen now was impossible. If this continued, they would all die to Len Yuian. Len Yuian's arrival was completely unexpected. Without her, perhaps Long Chen would already be a corpse. However, there weren't so many ifs in this world. They could only face this miserable reality. Seeing Huo Lian and the others fleeing, Len Yuian didn't chase after them. She turned back to Long Chen. Thank you for having mercy on me twice. I've not repaid you. So our paths are now severed. And we can each walk our own path. But let me advise you to hurry and leave this place. I just killed one of the princes of the Yin world's blood race. So they'll quickly arrive. If you still don't leave. You won't have a chance in the future. Len Yuian took out a bloody head that had a blood colored horn on it. Its face was twisted in a sinister expression, and it emitted terrifying fluctuations. I wish you all luck. After saying that, Len Yuian swung her sword through the air. The void was cut open like it was cloth, and she stepped into that opening. She gave a faint smile to Long Chen before vanishing. Len Yuian had just left when Black Chi suddenly exploded out of the Yin world, enveloping the sky. Run. Long Chen shouted, his expression changing. As soon as that black chi appeared, he felt sweat covering his back. The nine-star hegemon body art's intuition was telling him that great danger was rapidly approaching. Long Chen slashed Evil Moon at Di Feng who was in the midst of fighting Mo Nian. The two of them were both covered in blood and injuries. Their battle had been extremely intense. Long Chen's sudden attack made Di Feng's expression change. He and Mo Nian had used up everything in their fight. If Long Chen suddenly joined in, he would definitely die in this state. With a snort, the divine ring behind Di Feng began to spin. He stepped into the divine ring, and it shrank until it vanished along with him. Let's go. Long Chen hadn't had the intention of killing Di Feng. He just wanted to end the battle. An expert like Di Feng would naturally have countless life-saving measures. Adding on his great karmic luck, killing him required an absolute power disparity. Fuck. If you gave me a couple more hours, I might have been able to beat him, said Mo Nian hatefully. Mo Nian knew that in truth, the two of them were equally matched. For him to kill Di Feng was almost impossible. However, as long as he could defeat the latter, it would be a blow to the Di family's morale. Unfortunately, he hadn't managed to do so. He had fled because Long Chen had come, and that was more than enough of an excuse for Di Feng to run. Stop thinking about that and run for your life, shouted Long Chen. The originally sunny Yang world was rapidly turning so dark that they couldn't even see in front of themselves. Huo Lian, Ziluo, True Immortal Jiaoki, Di Feng, and the other peak experts had fled. Even those life star Empyreans and survivors of the coalition army were fleeing. Martial Heaven Alliance, gather up, shouted Long Chen. The Martial Heaven Alliance's original army of over 600,000 experts had been reduced to around 140,000. They had taken immense losses, but compared to the coalition army, 
they were the winners. The various large powers of the Marshall Heaven continent had sent over 2 million experts against them, but only 30,000 had survived. Now they were fleeing for their lives. As for the neutral camp's experts, all of them noticed that something was off, and they were retreating. They were originally very far from the battlefield, so they were already gone. Behind them was a loose group of the coalition army. They were now only looking out for themselves. As for the Dragonblood Legion and the Martial Heaven Alliance's warriors, they were still standing at their original location, waiting for Long Chen's orders. Ruian, work together with Cloud, shouted Long Chen. Lu Ruian nodded, and giant branches bundled all the experts into a giant cage. Cloud then opened her mouth and took in the cage. Long Chen, Mo Nian, Yiz Hikyu, and the others stood on Cloud's back. Damnable human race, leave behind your lives. They had just started flying away when a sinister voice rang out from behind them like the summoning of the gates of hell. Long Chen and the others looked back, and their hair stood on end. They saw a group of blood-colored life forms holding giant sickles and charging out of the black chi. They looked similar to humans, but they were covered in blood-colored runes. Moreover, they had two strange horns on their heads, and their auras were frighteningly bizarre. Each of them possessed a terrifying aura like those life star Empyreans. Even worse was the fact that there was an endless tide of these life forms. There was no way to estimate their numbers. Run, shouted Long Chen. Cloud didn't even wait for Long Chen's orders. The runes on her wings lit up, and she streaked through the air like a five-colored shooting star. The cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow's speed could be rated as number one in the world. Hence. Long Chen and the others vanished from sight in the blink of an eye. They easily shot past the experts of the coalition army. Those experts roared furiously and tried to attack Cloud so that she would be injured and left behind to be the sacrificial victim. However, Mo Nian snorted, and his bar rapidly shot several arrows. The attackers were all slain with unbelievable accuracy. Little juniors, you dare to be arrogant sneered Mo Nian as they shot past. Long Chen looked at him speechlessly. Even showing off shouldn't be done randomly. Mo Nian was literally an arrow at the end of its flight. He was exhausted, but instead of resting, he still had to show off. As for those people's attacks, there was no they could penetrate the defenses of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow. They could be ignored. Hence, Mo Nian's attack was superfluous. He was clearly doing it for Yi Lingxian to see. Inside. He swallowed some blood that had surged out of his throat. He might have managed to conceal it from everyone else, but not from Long Chen. As for Yi Lingxian, she was actually sitting in meditation, with Chu Yao behind her, her hands against her back. She was helping Yi Lingxian heal. Yi Lingxian had paid a terrifying price to slay Miang Ji Ye. She had then suppressed her injuries to continue fighting, leading the army of the Martial Heaven Alliance. She was barely conscious. After all, Miang Jie was a genius on the same level of fame as Ziluo. His true combat power wasn't much weaker than Ziluo. However, because he hadn't expected Yi Lingxian to suddenly launch such a crazy attack, he had ended up dead. His life-preserving trump card had also been exposed by Long Chen, causing him to die at Yi Lingxian's hands. However, Miang Ji's full-strength attack was not so easy to receive. Yi Lingxian's injuries had a terrifying curse energy residing within. She hadn't had time to heal with that fight going on, so the curse energy had invaded her soul. Now, Chu Yao was using her own wood spiritual energy to extract that curse energy and purify it. Although it was taking a long time, this was definitely safe and effective. Mo Nian's little bit of showing off was witnessed by no one. Long Chen really couldn't figure out how this fellow's brain worked. A-H-H suddenly, miserable cries rang out from behind them. The army of blood-colored life forms had caught up to the coalition army. Their sickles easily cut through powerful Empyreans. The survivors of the coalition army were all elites amongst elites, but they were unable to resist in front of these strange life forms. One of the life star Empyreans tried to charge out, but he didn't even last a few seconds before his head was cut off. One of the life forms who appeared older and was wearing ancient robes pressed a finger against that life star Empyrean's head. His head instantly withered. Len Yuian, Long Chen, Martial Heaven Continent, how brazen. You dared to kill my blood race's prince. 
release the immortal grass, and break my seal. None of you is getting out of here alive. The elder roared and led the rest of the life forms to charge forward. Clearly, that elder had completed a soul sark in that instant and knew of what had happened, including Long Chen releasing the Yun Yang immortal grass and Yi Ling Shen breaking the seal to release the fragment of the Eastern Wasteland Bell. It seems they're the blood race that Len Yuian mentioned, said Long Chen looking back gravely. We can't be captured by them. That old fellow seems to be even more terrifying than a nether passage expert, said Mo Nian. Len Yuian was truly terrifying. Just how bored was she to have gone to kill one of their princes and draw out such terrifying existences? The blood race is extremely ancient and lives in dark worlds. Those blood-colored runes on their bodies are death runes. Because they possess an innate death energy, they were famous even in the ancient era. The yin-yang world is their territory, but due to the cycle of yin and yang in their world, they were forced to retreat into the yin side. If they appeared in the yang side, they would be repulsed by life energy. Right now, they are using up a huge amount of energy to draw the yin world's death energy over to the yang side. It seems they're truly infuriated, said Yu Ziaokian. Everyone came to a sudden comprehension. No wonder everything in the yin yang world felt unnatural. So the blood race was the master of this place. But why would they leave their treasures in the yang world? They felt it would be rude to take them. So they left them as a trial by fire. Tang Wan'er didn't believe that. It's a trap. Some things can't be said directly. But if you think about it, you should understand. Said Yu Ziaokian. Long Chen's heart shook. He suddenly thought of the giant egg Little Snow was now in. As well as the divine chains binding the egg. He also thought of the immemorial path. There had been a terrifying skull on top of a mysterious altar. He seemed to understand something. Miserable cries continued to ring out as more and more experts of the blood race charged over. The experts who had fallen behind were slain one by one. Their blood raining down. Chapter 1912 Escaping the Yun Yang World Translator Born to be those blood race experts weren't particularly fast themselves. But there was a wave of black chi surging forward that was increasing their speed. The slower human experts were being killed. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. I'm also from the righteous path. I was deceived and seduced by others. One of the righteous experts at the rear actually begged Long Chen. Shameless Lu Ruian shook her head contemptuously. This person had raised his blade and killed the disciples of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Did he really think that they would view him as being on the same side? Are you a three-year-old child? What are your eyes and head for? The righteous path is filled with turmoil because of trash like you. The only good thing about this battle is that trash like you was cleaned up. You know how many wicked things you did. So here's your reprisal. Quietly wait for your death, said Long Chen. Yi Ling Shen's condition had improved, and the curse was mostly removed by Chu Yao. Although she was still weak, she could now circulate her heavenly Tao energy to heal herself. She looked back at those righteous disciples and sighed. Long Chen could always see the silver lining. The Martial Heaven Alliance might be surrounded by enemies, with its interior fractured. It could crumble at any moment, but Long Chen also said that this was the best moment for the Martial Heaven Alliance to soar. Those who were still standing beside the Martial Heaven Alliance were their most loyal warriors. Furthermore, through this battle, the morale of the junior generation had been united. The sparks had raised a blazing fire. With Long Chen's assistance, Yi Ling Shen had taken the first step. In the future, the Martial Heaven Alliance would only grow stronger from its current state. Looking at Long Chen's back, she felt emotional. If it hadn't been for him pushing her to stand up, she wouldn't have dared to pick up this burden. Sometimes, after taking the first step, you would find that things weren't as difficult as you had imagined. If you were unafraid even of death, then what else was there to be afraid of? Suddenly, black pillars of light appeared ahead of them. They sealed this place like a prison. The neutral camp's experts had just been on the edge of this prison, and so they managed to escape. However, Long Chen's group was caught within it. These black pillars are made of world energy. They're condensed of the laws of the yin world. There's no way to break them with brute force. We would need world energy as well, said Yu Ziaokian, her expression sinking. That's bad. We have no life star experts, so we have no world energy. Mo Nian's expression changed. 
He shot an arrow at the black pillars. This was an arrow containing divine energy, but it actually merged into the black pillar, causing only the slightest ripple. It vanished. It's useless. This is a kind of law. Brute power can't break it. Yu Ziaokian shook her head. Even a paragon art won't work, asked Long Chen. It's not good. World energy must be countered by world energy. If this attribute is not taken into account, then it's impossible to cause any significant damage, said Yu Ziaokian. They were trapped. Just as Long Chen was thinking of what to do, the sound of a melodious zither reverberated throughout heaven and earth. It was like immortal music. As the zither music resounded through the air, the entire yin yang world shook. Long Chen was stunned. It's her. As the zither music continued, the black pillar in front of them began to crack. Finally, it exploded, creating a giant opening. Cloud immediately flew through it. Once through, they saw a giant zither floating in the sky, surrounded by bright stars. That zither filled the entire sky. When Long Chen and the others flew out, the zither slowly faded. It was actually a giant illusionary figure. The zither was gone, and the expected figure never appeared. She saved us. So she was amongst the neutral camp. But why did she refuse to see us? Asked Tang Wan'er. That image of the zither confirmed who it was that had saved them. The only one capable of controlling the seven-string sea suppressing zither to break this barrier had to be the zither fairy, Zi Yan. Long Chen had a helpless expression. It was still too early to say if Zi Yan was a friend or a foe. However, as she had saved them, Long Chen now owed her an immense debt. He didn't even know what price it would take to repay it. If Zi Yan hadn't helped them, then his only option would be to use the seventh form of Split the Heavens. Relying on Split the Heavens is an eight barrier breaking effect. He was 50% confident in breaking this prison. However, if he used it again, he would temporarily become a cripple. In this kind of place, that was too dangerous. Furthermore, he was only 50% confident. In other words, there was a 50% chance he would have failed. Failure would signify that they would be annihilated. So this debt was truly great. What a headache Long Chen sighed. He hated owing others, and now he owed someone who wasn't a friend or a foe. However, he had to repay this debt one day. He could only remember this in his heart for now. Once past the barrier, cloud speed quickly brought them to a world with sunlight. Although the black chi was spreading rapidly over the yin yang world, the speed at which it was spreading was not as great as cloud speed. The surprising thing was that the neutral camp's experts had vanished at some point. Long Chen and the others had no idea where they were. According to reason, there was no way they could be faster than a cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow. However, they had collectively vanished. It should be the heir of the gambling heavenly Tao. He must have brought everyone away. I heard that the heirs of the gambling heavenly Tao are all extremely powerful. Capable of transforming calamity into fortune. Said Mo Nian. Long Chen nodded. That man with the die spinning behind him was very strange. Even Long Chen was unable to tell just how strong he was. Haha. <laughs> the channels up ahead. We've escaped the black clouds were now far into the distance and Men Chi and the others recognized the channel from which they had entered. It was connected to the martial heaven continent. Long Chen and Yi Lingxian had been sent in by Yan Nanshan's life and death energy, but the martial heaven alliance and the Dragonblood Legion's experts had entered through this channel. Seeing this channel immediately made them sigh with relief. They looked back at the black chi behind them. The blood race experts were still back there, constantly cursing. They've given up. Mo Nian looked back. They don't dare to chase. This place has a sovereign seal suppressing it, said Yu Ziaokian. There's a sovereign seal here as well, asked Long Chen with surprise. Yu Ziaokian nodded. Yes, just like Devil Spirit Mountain. However, this sovereign seal is hidden. But if the blood races experts approached this place, it would activate and kill them. It's because of the sovereign seal that the blood race does not dare to attack the martial heaven continent. Otherwise. The martial heaven continent's life forms would have long since been killed or enslaved. How laughable that there are so many idiots on the continent. Instead of being vigilant against these threats, they fight amongst themselves. The sovereigns fought to create a peaceful world for them, and those people wasted their good intentions. Mo Nian's mouth curled into a disdainful smile. 
Upon arriving at the channel, Cloud opened her mouth and spat out the Dragonblood Legion and the Martial Heaven Alliance's experts. Cloud had her own space within her that could store objects. Holding a hundred thousand people was actually very simple for her. However, she had to release them before entering the spatial channel, or there was a danger of it crumbling if so many people entered at once. Let's go. Long Chen waved his hand. Mo Nian took the lead, while Chu Yao, Yi Hikyu, and the others followed behind him. In case there was any danger, they could handle it. As for Long Chen, he brought up the rear. Everyone quickly entered the channel and vanished. When the final batch entered, Long Chen looked back at the distant black world, waving his hand. He also entered, vanishing from the Yun Yang world. Damnable martial heaven continent, damnable human race. Just wait. The blood race will sooner or later crush the martial heaven continent roared that elder from the blood race. However, he didn't dare to approach the channel. Regretfully, Long Chen could no longer hear him. The space before Long Chen brightened. The familiar air and spatial fluctuations made him relax. They had finally returned to the martial heaven continent. Ha ha ha. I, Mo Nian, have finally returned. This time, I'm going for an even greater undertaking. Fuck. Other than the ancient family alliance, there are also the tombs of the ancient races. Corrupt Path, Shwen Beasts, Bloodkill Hall, and Heavenly Fate Island. I'll rob I mean. I'll be conducting archaeology everywhere, declared Mo Nian. Mo Nian suddenly put his hands on Xia Chen and Guo Ran's shoulders. Brothers, come with me. I'm proficient in reading faces, and I can declare with great certainty that the two of you will accomplish great things. Are you interested in joining hands with me in my great undertaking? Guo Ran and Xia Chen exchanged a glance, not understanding what Mo Nian was saying. Long Chen was the one who irritably said, you want to draw them in because Xia Chen is skilled in formations and Guo Ran is skilled in forging. It'll be much easier for you to rob tombs. Hey, don't make it sound so ugly. I am excavating our lost history. Together, we can bring back that golden age of cultivation to the current age. How is it? Brothers, come with me, and I guarantee you'll quickly fall in love with this work, said Mo Nian with a laugh. The other experts present chortled. Mo Nian really was an oddity. He actually liked this kind of work. Not good. Long Chen, we've fallen into a trap. Yu Ziaokian suddenly sent a message to Long Chen. Chapter 1913 The Sure Death Trap Translator. Born to be at the same time, Xia Chen, who had been examining their surroundings, suddenly let out a startled cry. He threw a formation disc in the air. Boom. Divine runes suddenly appeared and the void exploded. Their surroundings vanished. Everyone was shocked to find themselves floating in space. What's going on? Shouted Guo Ran. Our channel has been rigged by someone. We actually entered an illusion formation that transported us somewhere else. Said Xia Chen. Quick. Get out of here. Long Chen's expression also changed. This was a transportation formation trying to bring them nowhere good. Yu Ziaokian and Xia Chen had noticed it and Xia Chen had severed the formation. Just as they were preparing to flee, the void shook. A group of people appeared, blocking them. When those people arrived, everyone's hearts shook. The world was completely sealed by a terrifying power. It was like there were chains binding them. Nether Passage Experts There were over 30 Nether Passage Experts, while their leader was a white-haired elder that Long Chen recognized. When Long Chen had gone to save his parents in the eastern wasteland, he had captured one of Heavenly Fate Island's disciples. In the midst of a soul sark, this elder had suddenly attacked him, almost taking his life. However, the elder had ended up provoking the Divine Gate Star into counterattacking, which had saved Long Chen. Although Long Chen had never met this elder, he remembered his face. When Long Chen killed Luo Xianji, he learned that the elder was actually one of Heavenly Fate Island's Grand Elders, as well as its Vice Island Master, Long Chen. No matter how slippery you are, you won't be able to escape from my hands. If you don't want to die, then come quietly. I can let you live, said that elder of Heavenly Fate Island coldly. Although the elder concealed it well, Long Chen could see the anger in his eyes. He could also see something odd. It was as if he was also slightly afraid. 
Long Chen and the others were surrounded by over 30 Nether Passage experts, and their life and death domains were active, binding them. The disciples of the Martial Heaven Alliance couldn't even move a finger. They were under such immense pressure that their bodies shuddered. After all, these people were Nether Passage experts in control of life and death energy. In the face of their pressure, these disciples didn't have the slightest ability to resist, especially in the life and death domains. In front of 12th rank magical beasts, they would still have some ability to fight. However, in front of Nether Passage experts in control of life and death energy, they were completely suppressed. The voice of the Elder from Heavenly Fate Island resounded through the air loudly, shaking their eardrums and provoking fear. Long Chen walked out and eyed these experts. Some were from the ancient races, the ancient family alliance, the Xuan beasts, and he even saw some wearing the robes of Pill Valley and the Bloodkill Hall. There were a total of 33 of them, and clearly the elder from Heavenly Fate Island was their leader. He stood in the air, looking at them like a judge convicting prisoners. Old fellow, I've never managed to figure out why you continue to target me despite not having any enmity with me, said Long Chen, a bit curious. He truly didn't know why Heavenly Fate Island was targeting him. Even Li Xiangxuan hadn't figured it out. Heavenly Fate Island had no reason to target him. From this elder's eyes, Long Chen read something strange. This elder was actually afraid of him yet had also come here to ensure his death. He couldn't understand why. Why? Do you not know? Sneered the elder. I really don't. Long Chen shook his head. The elder clasped his hands behind him and coldly said. My heavenly fate island cultivates the ability to read the way of heavens. A hundred years ago, we deduced that a fiend would be born on the martial heaven continent and bring disaster to all, throwing the continent into chaos. That fiend is you, Long Chen. Heavenly fate island is eliminating you to remove a scourge for the people. Fuck off. You might be able to scam others, but you can't scam me. If you could really read the heavens. You wouldn't have sent the four fate princes into the yin yang world. Now that your four fate princes are dead, you don't have a single person to receive your inheritance. What are you blindly bragging about? Cursed Long Chen. This old fellow's sanctimonious appearance was too hateful. HMPH. The four fate princes died to eradicate evil. Their deaths were for the peace of the martial heaven continent. Their heroes who entered the yin yang world knowing that they wouldn't return alive. For the martial heaven continent, they didn't even frown as they became sacrifices for peace. After such heroes have died, you even have to slander and vilify them? Long Chen, don't you think you're too malicious? The elder pointed at Long Chen with righteous indignation. Long Chen almost laughed from fury. He had finally seen the most shameless person in his life. Every time this elder opened his mouth, he managed to twist the truth to convenience himself. Those four fate princes had actually been turned into the eternal heroes of the martial heaven continent by his words. Shameless thing. I've never seen someone so shameless. All right. Your mouth is bigger. So I can't out talk you. Then tell me Long Chen was about to continue asking questions. Who has the time to talk nonsense with you? Stop stalling. I can see through all your thoughts easily. I'll only give you to the count of three. Either come quietly or die interrupted the elder. Ah, you really have some skill. You even saw that I was stalling. Long Chen sighed and shook his head sadly. You should just give up. Although you broke the spatial channel so the transportation didn't complete, you still won't be able to escape. Ah, so you had the trap laid out well in advance. My guess is that if the transportation had succeeded, we'd be in some prison. Even death would probably be luxurious by then. Right, asked Long Chen. Not bad, not bad, bastard. Stop changing the subject. Decide whether you want to live or die. If you don't want to die, then step forward. I guarantee I won't take your life, shouted the elder. Old ghost, shut up. We followed senior apprentice brother Long Chen and senior apprentice sister Yi Lingxian through mountains of corpses and seas of blood. Do you think you could make us give up now? Sneered a disciple. You must think that we're three-year-old children. Or are you the actual three-year-old? That disciple's words instantly stimulated everyone else. That's right. Since we dared to stand beside senior apprentice sister Yi Lingxian, we're prepared to die. Old fellow, 
open your dog eyes and look closely. We aren't that crowd of fools afraid of your heavenly fate island. Even if we die, we'll be able to smile on the path to the Yellow Springs. What's there to be afraid of? When we run into those ghosts we killed, we can kill them again. These disciples were already aware that they were definitely dead, and so fearing death was meaningless. They began to curse that elder. If they couldn't kill him, at least they would curse him until they were satisfied before dying. Mo Nian smiled. There were still some tough people in the Martial Heaven Alliance, and none had submitted amongst over a hundred thousand experts. That was incredibly rare. Everyone was afraid of death, but they chose dignity and honor even in death. For this many people to be united, a strange atmosphere unfurled. Even the rather timid people were getting fierce. Then don't blame me for being merciless. Strip their Yuan spirits and seal them, ordered the elder. All the Nether Passage experts extended a hand. Life and death energy raged, forming a resonance with heaven and earth. Old ghost, being overconfident will make you suffer, said Long Chen. He raised his hands into a seal. Acting tough won't save you. Tell me, just how will I suffer? Sneered the elder. You're the vice master of Heavenly Fate Island, so you must be skilled in reading the heavens. However, did you calculate that you would face a calamity that would take your life today? Asked Long Chen. Arrogance. Today, I'll take the place of your parents to teach you how to talk to your elders. The elder from Heavenly Fate Island was angered, and he waved his hand. Life and death energy converged. Who do you think you are to teach me? To tell you the truth, I'm the real god of reading the future. Today, I guarantee you will definitely die by my hands. Long Chen suddenly completed his hand seals. The void behind him began to rapidly spin, forming a giant channel. The world shuddered as a giant silver dragon claw reached out of the channel. The silver claw was bigger than a mountain and directly slammed toward that elder. The elder had never dreamed that Long Chen would be capable of such an attack. He instinctively shifted his energy toward the dragon claw. The void exploded, and the elder was sent flying back, coughing up blood. At the same time, the other Nether Passage experts were blown back by the Silver Claw. They stared in shock at the space behind Long Chen. The channel that Long Chen had summoned was constantly breaking and tearing apart. In the end, a giant drake managed to squeeze out of it, appearing in the sky. Chapter 1914 Lightning Field Dragon King Translator Born to be the giant lightning drake appeared, causing the world to shudder intensely. Its silver light blazed even more intensely than the sun. At the next moment, the elder from Heavenly Fate Island was swatted away by the silver drake's claw, and the other nether passage experts immediately tensed up, divine items appearing in their hands. They had never seen such a life form. They were filled with shock. How was it possible for Long Chen to summon such a terrifying existence? Little fellow, didn't we say you can't call me for nothing? The Silver Drake's voice resounded in Long Chen's mind. It was angry. It didn't like being summoned. It had never agreed to definitely help Long Chen. The only agreement was that the ordinary Drakes would help him. It was actually extremely polite of it to appear now. Isn't it because I have no choice? Look at these old ghosts. They've lived for so many years, but they're bullying a poor beginner like me. Isn't that a pain? We're friends and for them to bully me is also bullying you. I might be able to endure it, but I feel bad for you being insulted like this. Long Chen was also pleasantly surprised that the Silver Drake would heed his summons. He had actually been so nervous that it wouldn't give him this face. Hence, he hastily drew it over to the same side as him. Stop spouting nonsense. Let me tell you, I'll only be your fighter once. Next time, I won't come no matter what's going on snorted the silver drake. Yes, yes, once is enough. Help me eliminate them, and I definitely won't forget you during my tribulation. It's impossible for me to do that. The channel you've opened is too small, so my true body can't enter. I'm just a split body, and my power is limited. Furthermore, if I were to use the full power of my split body, the channel you summoned would crumble within 10 breaths time. Then I'd have to go back. I can't kill this many people in that time frame, said the Silver Drake. Long Chen was shocked. A single split body was actually that powerful? Then if its true body was here, wouldn't it be able to annihilate them with a wave of its claw? However, 
Ten breaths time was truly too short. Long Chen quickly thought of something and replied, How about we do this? Boom. Suddenly, the silver drake shot into motion. A giant tail whipped toward the nether passage experts. Defend together, shouted the elder from Heavenly Fate Island. The nether passage experts raised their divine items against the tail. Divine light exploded. Divine items could only unleash their greatest power in the hands of nether passage experts. As a result, these 33 nether passage experts were unleashing over 10 times the power of that group of life star empyreans. It was something none of the Martial Heaven Alliance's experts could receive. This was the power of nether passage experts. However, the silver drake was too powerful. The attacks of the divine items bounced off its body, and its dragon tail suddenly curled toward the heavenly fate island's elder. That elder was startled. This silver drake had forced the others back just to target him. Not giving up, he took out a giant feng shui board. Countless runes flew out of it and wrapped around him. He then practically teleported away, avoiding being caught up in the dragon tail. However, he had just reappeared when a giant dragon claw smashed into him, shattering the feng shui compass's defenses. The silver drake was unstoppable, so against existences stronger than them. Heavenly Fate Island's heaven reading arts are also useless. They can't calculate their attacks or plans, said Yi Lingxin, in front of an existence much stronger than him. This elder was unable to calculate anything. The elder's expression changed. He suddenly threw the feng shui compass above his head and began forming hand seals. Unfortunately, halfway through his seals, a lightning spear pierced through his back and out his chest. Dying, the elder stiffened and couldn't quite believe what he was seeing. He tried to turn around to see who had attacked him. My fortune-telling skills told me that you would face a bloody calamity today. Now. Do you believe it? Long Chen's voice rang out from behind him. The elder saw a pair of lightning wings on Long Chen's back, and a berserk lightning spear in his hand. This sudden attack made both friends and foes simply stand there in dumbfounded silence. They stared in shock at that figure. It was so sudden that they couldn't believe their eyes. A powerful nether passage expert's life was now in the hands of a soul transformation disciple. The reason this elder was the leader of these nether passage experts was because he had reached the second realm of nether passage, the life realm. The nether passage realm was split into four parts. The first was life and death energy. The second was life energy. The third was death energy. And the fourth was the final step of the nether passage realm, the Samsara realm, gaining control of Samsara energy. The majority of nether passage experts were stuck in the first realm in control of only the most basic life and death energy. This elder was the leader of this group not just because of his status as the Vice Island Master of Heavenly Fate Island, but also due to his terrifying cultivation base. However, such a terrifying expert was actually struck through the back by Long Chen. This scene was unbelievable. Even those close to Long Chen were dumbfounded. Just when had their boss become so powerful? Even a nether passage expert could be slain by him in one move. Boss really is boss. No one knows just how powerful he is. Chortle Guo ran. When did he become so powerful? What a monster. Mo Nian was speechless. The most shocked ones were the disciples of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Their eyes almost popped out of their heads. Was Long Chen really human? In his current state, he looked like an undefeatable god of war. The lightning spear in his hand and the giant lightning dragon behind him turned him into a stunning sight, an existence that they didn't dare to look at directly. Little fellow, extracting my energy will make me have to leave sooner. The silver drake sent a message to Long Chen. This attack was his paragon art, the wild lightning soul battle spear. Using this paragon art that was connected to the lightning field naturally used the energy of the silver drake. And it was precisely because of this that Long Chen's attack was so powerful that the elder was unable to sense it. I can handle the rest. There's no need for you to continue fighting. Just do your best to stay here as long as possible, replied Long Chen. He was now in control as he had managed to stun his opponents. The Silver Drake didn't reply. Its aura was pulled back into its body, and it floated behind Long Chen, coldly looking at the stunned Nether Passage experts. Old ghost, why aren't you saying anything anymore? Can't you read the future? Did you ever read that you would die now? 
asked Long Chen to the elder that had a lightning spear through his back. The elder was about to speak when Long Chen's lightning spear shook. The elder suddenly coughed up blood, a black and white crack appearing on his forehead. Don't try to play with me, sneered Long Chen. His lightning spear had just shattered the elder's danchen because he had tried to secretly counterattack. The crack on the elder's head caused startled cries to ring out from the nether passage experts. They knew that Long Chen had just shattered the elder's danchen and had heavily injured his Yuan spirit with his powerful thunder force. That crack indicated that his life and death energy was currently dissipating. Once it was gone, he would be dead. Long Chen had essentially crippled the elder's cultivation base. Now he was powerless to resist. Long Chen, you won't have a good death, roared the elder. With his cultivation base crippled, he knew he would quickly die. Someone definitely won't have a good death, but it won't be me. What do you think? Long Chen smiled coldly. His spear once more shook. Now the elder's lower body exploded, leaving only his chest and upper body. Long Chen stabbed his chest again. I've never provoked you, but your heavenly fate island has repeatedly harmed me. Do you really think I'm so easy to bully? It seems I've been giving you people too much face. I've always operated on the principle of if you don't offend me, I won't offend you. But now it seems I have to show you the price for provoking me. Long Chen's voice was so cold that it made other people's hair stand on end. Those nether passage experts all shivered. Long Chen was absolutely ruthless. If they allowed him to grow up, none of them would survive. Long Chen, I curse you. The elder's roar was interrupted as the rest of his body exploded. He was killed just like that. Just at this moment, the channel behind Long Chen shook. The silver drake's body was slowly pulled back into it, and vanished. Killed him. With the silver drake gone, the nether passage experts roared. Chapter 1915 The Ferocious Old Man Translator Born to be suddenly, a heaven-shaking roar rang out as the lightning dragon reappeared behind Long Chen. The charging nether passage experts immediately retreated. The lightning dragon rapidly spun, forming the lightning channel once more. Useless fools, come over here. Let me see which of you aren't afraid of dying, shouted Long Chen contemptuously. Those nether passage experts were bewildered. The lightning channel had reappeared. Because the silver drake had previously charged out of it, they couldn't be sure that it wouldn't come out again. With Long Chen's wily and mischievous nature, who knew whether or not he was laying down a trap to bait them in? In truth, this was the real trap. Long Chen's power was limited, and there was no way for him to maintain this spatial channel. He had only managed to summon it for a while by borrowing Menki's energy. Now, he was just maintaining some empty bravado. This channel that Lai Long had summoned was a fake one. It wasn't connected to the lightning field, nor did it have the power to reach there. Although it looked mighty, it was an empty shell. However, this empty shell was so terrifying to these nether passage experts that they didn't dare to approach. No one was willing to take the risk of testing the channel. Hence, they were waiting for someone else to test it for them. The death of that elder from Heavenly Fate Island made them lose their backbones. They were old foxes that had lived for countless years. And the older they lived, the more afraid of dying they became. For a long moment, Long Chen simply stood there with a disdainful smile. The lightning dragon roared behind him, and these old foxes were kept at bay. What are you doing? Are you fighting or not? If not, scram. We haven't eaten yet, and we're starting to get hungry, shouted Guo Ran. His confidence in Long Chen was close to blind. That's right, if you're going to attack, then hurry up. What are you still waiting for? You've lived for so many years. Aren't you tired of life? The sooner you die, the sooner you can reincarnate. Don't you want to see what it's like to be a new person? Mo Nian also followed. Exactly. I'll tell you the truth. Our boss is just trying to frighten you. Come and attack. Even the dragon blood warriors joined in, mocking the nether passage experts making them furious. Long Chen kept a faint smile on his face, but his palms were behind his back and sweating. It seemed his friends and allies really weren't afraid of death. If these nether passage experts were to charge over, they would be doomed. They should be a bit gentler with their conning. If one of the nether passage experts lost control of their anger, they would be instantly exposed. Long Chen was as nervous as possible. 
but he had to act like victory was in his grasp. He had to look lightly upon the opposing experts. We can't just keep waiting. He might be bluffing, so we just have to test it with a probing blow. There's no need to commit to an all-out attack, said one of the Nether Passage experts suddenly, seeming to have noticed something. The others nodded, and rays of divine light shot toward Long Chen. Fuck, they really did attack. Long Chen couldn't keep acting and hastily blocked with Evil Moon. As a result, those multiple probing blows sent him flying. Even if they were just probing blows, they were the attacks of Nether Passage experts. If they had been real attacks, he would have lost his life. Long Chen was sent flying, and the lightning dragon behind him, who endured the majority of the attack power, exploded. It's a fake. Little bastard. Die. Although the lightning dragon immediately condensed once more after exploding, those nether passage experts didn't sense any spatial fluctuations. In other words, the so-called spatial channel that the lightning dragon had condensed before was completely fake. Thinking of how Long Chen had embarrassed them to the point that they didn't dare to take a single step forward, they were infuriated. Damnable bastards. Let's see if you can still act so tough now. We should skin them, remove their bones, and refine their souls, making it so they can never reincarnate. Little brats. Die. Those nether passage experts were fully angered, while the dragon blood legion's people were dumbfounded. Only now did they find out that they had provoked a disaster. Idiots. Come if you have any gods. Your daddy Long will receive you. Long Chen wiped away some blood on his mouth. He rested Evil Moon on his shoulder without the slightest fear. Brat, you still dare to act tough. One of the Nether Passage experts wearing the robes of the corrupt path immediately charged forward. Long Chen still had a disdainful expression on his face, and Evil Moon was resting on his shoulder lazily. Just like that, he lightly stared as this Nether Passage expert charged at him. Die. That expert was infuriated, and suddenly, he put away his divine item reaching out for Long Chen with his bare hand. Although he cried for death, he actually wanted to capture him alive. Suddenly, divine light erupted through the void, and a tower descended from the heavens, unleashing a ray of light. The corrupt nether passage expert was struck by the tower and exploded into blood mist. Even his Yuan spirit dissipated. He, you're finally here. Long Chen sighed with relief. The Zhuangshan Tower. Startled cries rang out as this giant tower descended. It slowly spun, unleashing waves of divine light that forced back those nether passage experts. Xuan Master, the dragonblood warriors let out delighted cries. Two figures materialized on the Zhuangshan Tower. It was Li Xiangxuan and the old patriarch. The most shocking thing was that at some unknown point, Li Xiangxuan had actually advanced to the nether passage realm. He had life and death energy flowing around him, and he appeared completely calm as well as confident. HMPH. So what if you've come? Do you think you can block all of us? Attack. One of the ancient race experts shouted and immediately launched an attack on the Zhuangshan Tower. The Zhuangshan Tower's waves of divine light enveloped the Dragonblood Legion and the Martial Heaven Alliance's people, drawing them into the Zhuangshan Tower. The divine light then flowed out blocking the crazed attacks of the Nether Passage experts. The Zhuangshan Tower is said to be number one in defense, excluding the five supreme divine items. It should be no problem for it to block you for a while, said Li Xiangxuan lightly adopt the Zhuangshan Tower. The Nether Passage experts crazily attacked, and the Zhuangshan Tower was shuddering, but they were still unable to break its divine light barrier. The name of number one in defense was not for nothing. You've even used your karmic luck divine item. Aren't you afraid of the Zhuangshan Dao sect being destroyed? Shouted one of the corrupt experts hatefully. A divine item like the Zhuangshan Tower that was used to maintain a sect's karmic luck usually couldn't leave the sect if the karmic luck divine pool was damaged during the time that the divine item left the sect. That would spell disaster. The heaven suppressing magic sect was an example. Its divine pool had been destroyed by Long Chen causing its karmic luck to dissipate. As a result, the quality of its divine item plummeted until it finally vanished from this world. The Zhuangshan Tower was the same. If someone took advantage of this time to attack the Zhuangshan Dao sect and destroy its divine pool, then it would have lost its foundation. The Zhuangshan Dao sect would slowly disappear from this world, 
while the Zhuangshan Tower would gradually lose its power. There's no need for you to worry about it. If you want, you can alert your fellow corrupt experts to attack the Zhuangshan Dao sect, said Li Xiangxuan. With the current grand formation protecting the Zhuangshan Dao sect, even without the Zhuangshan Tower, it could handle other people's sneak attacks. After all, that grand formation was something that Long Chen had built up with all his wealth. Its power was definitely shocking. It was just that no one else knew of its power yet. Don't scatter your attacks. Concentrate them. I'll count to three. Follow me that expert had just started shouting when a sword slashed down from the sky. A giant sword image tore through the sky. And although that nether passage expert immediately sensed it, he was cut in two along with his divine item. Shameless bastards. You dare to bully my children? All of you can die. A white-haired man appeared in front of everyone, looking like a furious lion. He held a large sword in his hand. Killing intent was surging out of him, and after slaying one nether passage expert, he didn't stop. He continued attacking the others. Old man, Long Chen was delighted. This was the leader of the heaven-splitting battle sect, Wu Guangguan. He had actually managed to advance to the nether passage realm. He, you sent out a distress signal but I did the same. It's just that our old man was one step slower, said Bao Buping. As soon as Long Chen had sensed something wrong, he had activated a secret distress signal that the Zhuangshan Tower would immediately sense. Before everyone had entered the Yunyang world, Li Xiangxuan had felt that things would be exceptionally dangerous, so he had specifically told Meng Qi to give that distress signal to Long Chen. He had secretly left the sect with the Zhuangshan Tower. Just to prevent the worst-case scenario, the reality showed that Li Xiangxuan's cautiousness had been necessary. As for Bao Buping, he had also sent out a distress signal. When he had entered the Yunyang world, the old man had yet to come out of seclusion. However, the distress signal had to be sent so that at least Boss Bao and the others would know how they died and avenge them. Hence, they were also surprised to see the old man here. He had charged over using some secret technique. One of the ancient race nether passage experts started a fierce fight against the old man. However, they had only just clashed when the old man cut him in two as well. That's, the heaven-splitting blade. Startled cries rang out. The Zhuangshan Tower was claimed to be number one in defense, while the heaven-splitting blade was claimed to be number one in offense. Even divine items could be cut by it. Chapter 1916 Neither side giving an inch translator born to be having advanced to the nether passage realm. The old man's power had skyrocketed. The heaven-splitting blade was roaring like a wild beast aching to slaughter. All the other divine items that were raised against it were cut in two by the heaven-splitting blade. The old man's power was explosive, and each strike of his sword killed its target. He attacked seven times, killing seven nether passage experts. Heavens, is he a god? He's crazy. The Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples were all dumbfounded. They had never seen someone like this, who slew Nether Passage experts so easily. Run. No one was able to stop the old man with the heaven-splitting blade. Terrified. They knew fleeing was their only choice. Split the heavens eight. The old man roared and a fierce sword image appeared, shaking the world. Space twisted so wildly that it was impossible to see anything. The only thing they could hear was rumbling. It was like heaven and earth had been split. They gradually returned to their senses, and their vision was restored. Their realm wasn't even high enough to see that attack. After that attack, all they saw was seven figures tumbling back, wildly spurting blood. Their divine items had crumbled in their hands. The other nether passage experts had vanished. Even Li Xiangxuan and the patriarch were startled. Li Xiangxuan sighed. The nine forms of split the heavens would make even ghosts and gods flee. This kind of power is unstoppable. The current old man was like a tiger off his mountain, a dragon soaring out of the sea. Although he had just advanced to the nether passage realm, with the heaven splitting blade in his hand, he was dominating these experienced nether passage experts. One of the Xuan beast experts tried to stabilize himself as he tumbled back, but then a ray of sword chi severed his head. A pale hand caught the head, and a woman appeared in the air, her sword stained with blood. Pointing her sword at the other nether passage experts, she shouted, Surrender and I'll spare your lives. 
Upon seeing that woman, Yi Lingxin was delighted. It was her master, the head of the Martial Heaven Alliance, Hu Jinying. Behind Hu Jinying was a group of over ten nether passage experts who surrounded these people. Even if you surrender, you'll still die. However, the old man didn't listen and continued to attack the heavily injured nether passage experts. Each slash of his blade took one of their lives, and they were all killed. On his own, the old man had killed almost all the nether passage experts. He was a bit out of breath, but the blood stains on him made him appear even more domineering. The old man stabbed the heaven-splitting blade into the ground, leaning on it. He looked at Ku Jinying without saying anything. This again. Long Chen clapped his head, feeling a headache coming on. These two could never get along. You. HMPH. So after advancing to the nether passage realm, you think you can go against me? Ku Jinying roared furiously. The old man wasn't giving her any face. Your words are stupid. First of all, even without advancing to the nether passage realm, I could still go against you. Second, these idiots insulted my children. What's wrong with the elder standing up for the children? Could it be that I have to be like a certain coward who doesn't dare to say anything even after their own disciples are killed? Snorted the old man disdainfully. What do you think you're saying? Raged Pujinying. Hey, let's all calm down. Don't you think two seniors shouting at each other is a bit unsuitable in front of a hundred thousand disciples? Long Chen hastily flew forward, trying to mediate things. These two seemed to get worse tempers as they got older. If they were to really start fighting, that would be a giant joke. Only then did Ku Jinying notice that over a hundred thousand disciples of the Martial Heaven Alliance were staring at them oddly. Taking a deep breath, she said, Some people forget past favors, even forgetting just who to thank for advancing to the Nether Passage realm. Ku Jinying's eyes reddened slightly. She had made painstaking efforts to help the old man. But in the end, it was Long Chen who had managed to convince the old man to use her help. Now, the old man had advanced to the Nether Passage realm, and if he didn't want to listen to her, fine. But he actually went against her, putting her in such an embarrassing situation in front of so many people. She felt a bit aggrieved. The old man's expression immediately changed, and he was about to retort. I however, Long Chen hastily grabbed him, saying, all right, now isn't the time to argue about this. There's been major events in the yin-yang world, so we have to hurry up. Discussing the important matters take precedence if you want to discuss something. Discuss it yourselves. I'm just an old man, and there's nothing for me to say. In any case, it won't matter what I say. I'm leaving, and if you need something, just send me a message. The heaven-splitting battle sect will fight. After saying that, the old man beckoned to Bao Buping and Chang Hao. The heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples could only follow the old man as he left. Bao Buping and Chang Hao helplessly waved goodbye. Long Chen smiled. Alliance head, you shouldn't argue with him. You know he has a temper. You heard what he said. As long as the Martial Heaven Alliance goes to war, he will join in. He just has a bad way of showing it. The old man was truly too stubborn. But the alliance head herself wasn't much better off in that regard. She knew that he had that kind of temper but was still instantly provoked. As for the old man, seeing Ku Jinying aggrieved because of him, he had clearly felt guilty yet refused to lower his head. Was saying a few nice words really that difficult? The old man didn't even ask Long Chen what had happened in the yin yang world before leaving. He clearly didn't want to stay here. The heaven splitting battle sects people from top to bottom, all had very direct characters. If they liked you, they would be willing to give their lives for you. If they didn't like you, they wouldn't even look at you. So their characters didn't make them get along with the rest of the world. Ku Jinying looked at the stubborn back of the old man as he left. Her mouth opened and shut a few times, but she didn't say anything in the end. Let's go. We can talk once we're back at the Martial Heaven Alliance. Ku Jinying waved her hand bringing them back to the headquarters. With Ku Jinying and the others' protection, they were finally returning. Upon returning to the headquarters, the disciples finally relaxed. They felt like they had just gone through tribulation and been reborn. Some of the female disciples were even crying. The feeling of living was good. 
Although they hadn't felt fear in that intense battle to the death, that was because in that situation, they couldn't afford to do so. Now that it was over, a lingering fear appeared. On the other hand, the Dragonblood Legion's people were all calm as if they hadn't gone through anything at all. That made the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples feel even greater admiration for them. They were true warriors. That intense slaughter was something that the Dragonblood Legion was already used to. The young disciples began conversing with the Dragonblood warriors with great reverence. The headquarters became very lively. You should be the brilliant disciple of Daoist Heavenly Feather of the Divine Ice Palace. Once they were back, Hu Jinying turned toward Yi's Hikyu. I don't dare to accept that praise, but yes, my master is Daoist Heavenly Feather. Yi's Hikyu greets the Alliance head. Yi's Hikyu bowed slightly. Hu Jinying smiled. It seems Daoist Heavenly Feather is still my senior then does that mean I can call you senior apprentice sister in the future? Long Chen's eyes suddenly brightened. Little brat, you dare to take advantage of me? Are you itching for a beating? Cursed Pujinying. How can it count as taking advantage? According to reason, Yi's Hikyu is from the same generation as me and even my lover. Her master is your senior, so she should call you senior apprentice sister, as should I, said Long Chen. You, you little brat, which relation matters more, my relation with the old man or her master? Well, that's true. Then how about while's Hikyu is present, I'll call you senior apprentice sister. And while she's not, I'll call you based on the old man's relationship with you. Brat, you really are the same as that old bastard. As expected, the master raises the same kind of disciple. Cough. Li Xiangxuan suddenly had a coughing fit, and the patriarch had a bitter smile. It seemed that even they had been included in this cursing. I'm not talking about you two. I'm talking about that old bastard who's like a dung-covered rock. Stinky and hard. Only then did Pu Jinying recall that Long Chen wasn't just a disciple of the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect but also the Zhuanshan Dao Sect Meng Chi, Chu Yao, Yi Lingxian, and the others all covered a smile. You, keep your mouth shut. I'll handle you later. Pu Jinying didn't give Long Chen any chance to keep quibbling. She turned to Mo Nian. The Mo family was once a blazing sun in this world. With them leading it, the ancient family alliance was a force to be reckoned with. Although the Mo family has now declined, don't you think doing such dishonorable things all day is an embarrassment to your ancestors? Chapter 1917 Enemy Forces Come to Call Translator Born to be Pujinying's tone was like a harsh elder criticizing her own child. Although it was harsh, she wasn't treating Mo Nian as an outsider. Mo Nian innocently said, I don't embarrass my ancestors at all. If anything, they would be proud of me for unearthing the remnants of our lost history. I'm bringing back the remnants of the immortals for the martial heaven continent's development. All right, you can stop. As expected, birds of a feather flock together. No wonder you're so close to that fellow Long Chen. You shouldn't learn from him, said Ku Jinying, who couldn't be bothered to continue listening to Mo Nian's quibbling. Mo Nian immediately said, Senior, you really understand me. In truth, I was once an incomparably pure and motivated youth. I had such dreams, but then I encountered Long Chen. Ah, I can't say any more. I'm going to cry. Mo Nian's aggrieved expression immediately made Long Chen rage. You were the bad sort from the start. So what does it have to do with me? Who do you think you're trying to blame? The disciples laughed at their interaction and even some of the old Nether Passage experts cracked a smile. To them, the children these days were quite lively. Even though they had just escaped death, they were relaxed. What was an expert? This was an expert. True experts didn't always need to maintain a high and mighty air. An expert who could laugh and curse was a real expert. Both Long Chen and Mo Nian didn't act like they were supreme normally, but in battle, they became undefeatable gods. An expert who didn't look down on the weak or fear the strong was more worthy of their admiration. Even Pu Jinying couldn't help smiling. These two really were a perfect pair. All right, tell us what happened inside. The few of you should come with me to discuss it, said Pu Jinying. She was indicating that Long Chen, Mo Nian, Yi Lingxian, Yi Zhikyu, as well as the people on the level of the Dragonblood Legion's captains should go somewhere to talk. That would be more dignified and easier. 
Although they were just soul transformation disciples, they had terrifying potential. It was almost set in stone that they would be able to advance to the Nether Passage realm. That was why she viewed them as the future backbones of the righteous path. Thank you, but I won't be going. As a disciple of the Divine Ice Palace, some things aren't convenient for me to participate in, said Yiz Hikyu. The Divine Ice Palace was also a sect situated outside the struggle of the righteous and corrupt paths. The reason why she was standing beside Long Chen was due to personal reasons, but if she were to participate in a gathering of the righteous path, it would be equivalent to pulling in the Divine Ice Palace, so she couldn't attend this meeting. I've never attended any such meetings, so if you have any instructions, just tell Miss Lingshan and she can tell me. Even if your orders are to walk through fire, I won't hesitate, said Mo Nian solemnly. Long Chen got goosebumps just by listening. Even when picking up girls, there was no need to be so shameless. Long Chen was amazed by how thick his skin was. Alliance head, those of us who belong to the Dragonblood Legion will just listen to Long Chen. He can go talk it out with you, but we don't need to go. We sisters haven't seen Zhikyu in many years. So it just so happens that we have much to catch up on. We don't want to bring you trouble, said Chu Yao. As a result, everyone from the Dragonblood Legion retreated. Just Long Chen alone was enough. Long Chen stealthily cast a glance at Ji Lingxian. She immediately understood and said, Alliance head, there were many outstanding experts appeared amongst our Martial Heaven Alliance this time. I feel like they are qualified to join in on this discussion. In front of everyone, Yi Lingxian couldn't call Ku Jin Ying master. She had to call her alliance head to indicate her impartiality. There was a deeper meaning in the Dragonblood Legion leaving. It was to give Yi Lingxian a greater chance for promotion. After all, the Martial Heaven Alliance was the Martial Heaven Alliance. While the Dragonblood Legion was the Dragonblood Legion, Yi Lingxian had to raise her own confidants. Once those confidants grew up and became masters of their own sects, her position in the Martial Heaven Alliance would be solidified. Before this, Yi Lingxian had had this thought but hadn't dared to bring it up because although there were many outstanding figures amongst the Martial Heaven Alliance, they paled a bit in comparison to the monsters of the Dragonblood Legion. If she invited them to enter alongside those monsters, they would feel inferior. With the Dragonblood Legion retreating, they had freed up space for these outstanding figures. The Dragonblood Legion would not touch the Martial Heaven Alliance's posts and positions. In truth, this was a very important aspect. If the Dragonblood Legion merged into the Martial Heaven Alliance, it wouldn't be long before the Martial Heaven Alliance became a branch of the Dragonblood Legion. That was extremely bad for the Martial Heaven Alliance's stability. Furthermore, their enemies would use that chance to criticize them saying that Long Chen had been planning this from the start, to take over the Martial Heaven Alliance. After all, an alliance was just an alliance. It was not a single large sect. There were many complicated relations that Long Chen did not want to participate in. Hu Jianying nodded, allowing Yi Lingxian to pick out a total of 36 powerful experts to enter the meeting. Li Xiang Xuan also entered, but the old patriarch left with the Zhuanchen Tower. The news that the Zhuanchen Tower had left the Zhuanchen Dao sect was rapidly spreading. So to be safe, the Zhuanchen Tower should return. Mo Nian and the other disciples were left to chat in the plaza. It was very lively. Having undergone a great battle together, they all felt closer to each other than before. Those disciples that had comprehended the Dao of life and death in particular were extremely grateful to the Dragonblood Legion. They had sacrificed much for them. Countless disciples hadn't been qualified to enter the Yin Yang world. Hu Jianying had ordered that any disciples below rank 8 celestial would be immediately kicked out of the Martial Heaven Alliance if they dared to enter the Yin Yang world. If they had entered, they would only be sending themselves to their deaths. Many disciples had been a bit angry with that order. It was wasting a chance for them to adventure and get stronger. Although they didn't say it out loud, they thought about it. However, now they saw that only over a hundred thousand disciples had returned. Hearing about their miserable plight inside, they knew that the orders were justified, let alone rank 8 and rank 9 celestials. Even Empyreans had been slaughtered. These rank 7 and below celestials weren't even cannon fodder. 
Long Chen and the others entered the Martial Heaven Palace, but he didn't see the four Grand Elders. It seemed they had left Ku Jianying in charge of this. The four Grand Elders don't have much longevity left. It's not good for them to be walking about. They're sitting in quiet meditation, said Ku Jianying, seeming to read Long Chen's mind. Alliance head, I've found the life-extending fruit. Long Chen took out dozens of fist-sized, fragrant fruit. You really found it. Ku Jianying exclaimed with delight. I didn't have to meticulously look for it. I just found it in a mysterious medicinal mountain field. When the formations broke, I just grabbed everything I could, and I found the life-extending fruit amongst them, said Long Chen. Back when he had released the Yun Yang Immortal Grass and Yiling Shen had broken the seal on the Eastern Wasteland Bells Fragment, they had ended up drawing out some terrifying ox head devils. Those devils had broken the formation of the medicinal field, and Long Chen had plundered them. He had grabbed anything he could get his hands on, and coincidentally, he had found the life-extending fruit. That's excellent. With the life-extending fruit, the four grand elders will get a bit more longevity and be able to fight all out. That's huge for the Martial Heaven Alliance, said Ku Jianying. Do you have any more? No, this is all I have. Long Chen shook his head. However, he sent a secret transmission to Ku Jianying. I have more. It should be more than enough to use. These people are all trusted. So is there a need to be so careful? Demanded Ku Jianying. She also said it through a spiritual transmission. He, if you want to trust them, that's up to you. I only trust you and Yi Lingxian. Responded Long Chen. I'm telling you, don't you dare try to seduce my apprentice. Warned Ku Jianying. What Long Chen almost coughed up blood. Did they have to treat him like a wolf to be guarded against? To Yi Lingxian, Ku Jianying said, Lingxian, explain the general situation. Novaloon.com Yi Lingxian nodded and narrated what had happened. She included the details of the battle, as well as the fact that Pill Valley, the ancient races, the corrupt path, the ancient family alliance, the Xuan beasts, Heavenly Fate Island, and the Bloodkill Hall were secretly colluding. They had made a giant trap to annihilate the Martial Heaven Alliance and the Dragonblood Legion. Upon hearing of this trap, despite being prepared, Ku Jianying was infuriated and shocked. This entire expedition to the Yun Yang world had been a trap. At the same time, she became grave. Most likely, many large and powerful sects that were originally part of the Martial Heaven Alliance were about to become hostile. They would be even more difficult to handle in the future. However, when she heard that Yi Lingxian had slain one of the corrupt path's three kings, Miang Ji Ye, Ku Jianying was filled with pride but also distress. At such a young age, Yi Lingxian had picked up such a heavy burden. As her master, she felt doing such a thing was unbearable. Yet there was also no other choice. Ku Jianying, get out here. Today, if you don't give me an explanation, the Martial Heaven Alliance will disappear forever from the Martial Heaven continent. Ku Jianying was about to ask more questions when a furious shout resounded through the air like thunder. Shaking everyone's ears. Chapter 1918 Tensions Mount Translator. Born to be Ku Jianying walked out of the Martial Heaven Palace and saw that the sky was covered in experts that had surrounded the Martial Heaven Alliance's headquarters. They were actually all Nether Passage experts. The pressure of over a thousand of them crashed down on the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples like a mountain. The disciples felt like their skeletons were going to shatter, and they helplessly knelt on the ground. Although they knew this was a humiliation, they did not have the power to resist. They wanted to stand, but in front of absolute power, bravery alone was not enough. Only the Dragonblood Legion and some powerful Empyreans were barely able to keep standing. However, even they were shuddering. A thousand Nether Passage experts had descended upon Clearwind City. They didn't bother concealing their killing intent, and everyone in Clearwind City was enveloped in that pressure. This kind of army, an army of over a thousand Nether Passage experts, was enough to run rampant over the entire Martial Heaven continent. This was an absolute force. These people belonged to the various large powers. There were some from the Righteous Path, the Corrupt Path, Pill Valley, the Ancient Family Alliance, the Ancient Races, and the Xuan Beasts. Long Chen also saw two familiar faces. One was Pill Valley's master, Yu Xiaoyan the leader of this group. 
That shout just now was from him. Beside you Xiaoyan was Di Long. He was also coldly staring at Long Chen. His gaze was so sharp that it felt like it could pierce Long Chen. Not far from Di Long was a man in black robes. His eyes were sunken, and they were deep like a falcon's eyes. This elder had blood chi swirling around him, looking like he had just come out of a blood bath. There were intense spatial fluctuations around him. Amongst those fluctuations, it was vaguely possible to see countless resentful spirits struggling and howling. That sight was extremely shocking. This elder was the corrupt path's leader, Zi Luo's ancestor, Zi Wentian. He was the figure that inspired the most fear and trepidation in the righteous path. Zi Wentian was a terrifying figure, but only a few people had ever seen him. It was surprising that he would actually appear here. There was another elder not far from him. He was large like an iron tower. He had a falcon's eyes and a falcon's nose, and golden light glowed within his eyes like two suns. When they opened, it was like golden rays of light were shining. He was the leader of the Xuan beasts. His name was Pen Wanli, and it was said that he was a descendant of the Kunpen race. The Kunpen was the earliest ancestor of the Pen race. First came the Kun and then came the Pang. The Kun transformed into the Pang, and thus it was called the Kunpang. It possessed the most primordial bloodline, the Silver Wing Azure Pang, the Golden Wing Great Pang. They were all inferior branches. The Kunpen was the strongest existence of the Pen race. Long Chen had once slain a genius of the Pen race, Pen Wanshang. He was a genius descendant of the Golden Wing Great Pen race. However, his blood was a mix of the Golden Wing Great Pen race and the human race, so he could not be called a true member of the Golden Wing Great Pen race. There weren't too many fluctuations around Pen Wanli. However, the power of his blood chi caused the space around him to rumble, as if he was a volcano that could explode at any moment. To the other side was a dark-faced, middle-aged man. Amongst this group of elders, he appeared exceptionally young. He didn't have any fluctuations around him. His aura was like an extremely ordinary person. Most importantly, he looked extremely ordinary as well. Even though he was standing amongst this group of leaders, it was all too easy to overlook him. However, when Long Chen saw him, his blood instantly turned cold. It was like a viper was staring at him. Long Chen was immediately sure that the middle-aged man was a terrifying assassin. Perhaps he might not be the most powerful existence here, but he was definitely the most dangerous one. Long Chen's guess was not wrong. This was the master of the blood kill hall, Zhang Ziyang, the martial heaven continent's most terrifying assassin. However, it seemed that no one living had ever seen him fight, and even his name was something only the senior generation knew. Beside Zhang Ziyang was an elder with two long antlers growing out of his forehead. He also had a barb growing out of his back that was like a sword. Moreover, his hands and feet were composed of four sharp claws that looked very similar to dragon claws. This elder was the leader of the ancient races, Long Jun Kang. He was the descendant of the human race and the heavenly spinehorn dragon race of the Xuan beasts. The heavenly spinehorn dragon race was once an extremely terrifying existence amongst the Xuan beasts, one that was not inferior to the Kunpen race. However, although the reasons were unknown, the heavenly spinehorn dragon race had ended up with problems in their breeding and had later gone extinct. As a result, their bloodline only existed in the mixed blood of the ancient races. That was why Long Jun Kang called himself the descendant of the Heavenly Spinehorn Dragon and worked to bring the ancient races back to the Xuan Beasts. The ancient races felt naturally close to the Xuan Beasts. Perhaps it was because the bloodline of the Xuan Beasts was too powerful, causing the ancient races to always return to them. However, the ancient races never had any feelings toward the human race, and they looked down on the human race, other than them. There was another eye-attracting figure wearing Daoist robes. He had a long beard and he looked scholarly. However, his current expression was dark, and he was glaring daggers at Long Chen. Long Chen's mouth curled. He could guess this person's identity. He had to be the master of Heavenly Fate Island because only the scammers of Heavenly Fate Island liked to dress themselves up like this. Once again, his guess was correct. This person was truly the master of Heavenly Fate Island and he called himself the Unfettered Alseer. The Unfettered part was usually a self-mocking title, 
because used in a derogatory sense, it indicated someone who had interest in living in reality. They wanted to live outside in world, or it referred to people who despised the world and wanted to live in a rebellious fashion. To put it in an ugly way, it was someone who didn't care about anything and was useless to the world. However, when a powerful expert gave himself this title, it was different. He became a particularly unique and outstanding figure. This kind of unique name suited Heavenly Fate Island's air of mystery and their scams. Today, this so-called unfettered Alsir looked different from someone who was actually unfettered. Such a person should appear transcendent and indifferent, but he looked angry that was because in the end, he wasn't unfettered. He was in control of Heavenly Fate Island, and Heavenly Fate Island had just sent out its four most outstanding disciples, the four fate princes. They were the ones supposed to continue the legacy of Heavenly Fate Island, but they had all died in the Yin Yang world. That was an unprecedented humiliation for Heavenly Fate Island. Not only had the four fate princes been killed, but even the Vice Island Master had been slain. Moreover, the Vice Island Master, a powerful Nether Passage expert who had reached the second step, had actually been killed by a little soul transformation disciple. Long Chen had slain the young and the old of Heavenly Fate Island. Hence, this unfettered master wasn't able to remain indifferent. This was supposed to be something that would come at no cost to Heavenly Fate Island. But they had lost their four fate princes and the Vice Island master. He was infuriated. He was glaring at Long Chen like he wanted to swallow him whole. Actually, it wasn't just the unfettered Alsir who was furious. Whether it was Yu Ziaoyan, Di Long, Zi Wentian, Long Jun Kang, Pen Wanli, and Zhang Ziyang, they were all furious. Their losses in the Yun Yang world were simply too great. The plan had been so perfect and detailed. They had sent all their elites, and with such immense power, they should have captured Long Chen and the others in one fell swoop. Originally, they had thought that just half the disciples would have been enough, but to be safe, they had doubled the forces they sent. However, this perfect plan of theirs went horribly wrong. When they saw Huo Lian, Zi Luo, True Immortal Jiaoki, Di Long, and the others come running out, they were unable to believe their eyes. Over two million elites had entered, but even including Huo Lian and the others, only 37 had escaped. They almost went insane. However, they had one final backup to their plan, and that was to catch Long Chen and the others at the transportation formation. But when they had rushed over there, they had found that the formation had been broken midway. They had then rushed to the battlefield, only to find the corpses of 33 Nether Passage experts. The news of those deaths had instantly spread, and the leaders of the various large powers could no longer sit still. They immediately charged over to Clearwind City. Their hideous losses made their hearts drip blood. For a 100% chance of victory, each of them had sent at least 70% of their strongest disciples but they had essentially all been killed. They were unable to accept this. They had to make the Martial Heaven Alliance pay a miserable price. When they saw Long Chen and the Dragonblood Legion without a single casualty, their fury exploded even more. They wanted to attack immediately just to kill them. Kujinying, hand over Long Chen and the Dragonblood Legion, as well as the disciples who participated in the Battle of the Yin Yang World, or we'll trample your Martial Heaven Alliance into the ground shouted Yu Ziaoyan. Yu Ziaokian immediately shouted a condition that Ku Jianying couldn't possibly accept. His goal was clear. He didn't want just those disciples dead. He wanted the Martial Heaven Alliance destroyed. Trample my Martial Heaven Alliance? Ha ha ha. Good. Then let me see if you have that ability. Ku Jianying laughed furiously. Yu Ziaoyan and the other's plan had failed. And now they wanted justice for their fallen disciples? It was useless talking reason with such people. Ku Jianying suddenly took out a small seal. She crushed it. Suddenly, the sound of an ancient bell resounded through the air from within the headquarters. The martial heaven order. Startled cries rang out. Suddenly, a pillar of light soared out of the headquarters. One figure after another came flying out of the pillar of light. And one of them in particular let out a furious roar. You still dare to bully my children? Today. I'll kill all of you bastards. Chapter 1919 The top authorities gather translator. Born to be the speaker was the old man who had just left. He had come charging out again. 
There were two kinds of martial heaven orders. The first one was used to gather troops in times of danger. It was the one that Ji Lingxin had used in the Yun Yang world to summon the martial heaven alliance's warriors. However, the one that Ku Jin Ying had just activated was supreme. It was the highest order within the martial heaven alliance, and something only the alliance head was qualified to issue. Furthermore, the seal that she had just crushed was a one-time use item. The various sect leaders underneath the banner of the Martial Heaven Alliance always had a summon seal on them. When the Supreme Martial Heaven Order was activated, all they would have to do was crush their seal, and it would form a spatial channel leading to Kujinying. This was an extremely terrifying seal. Once activated, it meant a bloody war was about to start. Guangguan, wait a moment. Kujinying grabbed the old man who was charging forward with the Heaven Splitting Blade. This battle is very important. Reserve your temper. This relates to the life and death of the entire Martial Heaven Alliance. It was only when Ku Jin Ying said how grave this situation was that the old man stopped. He glared at the enemy forces. Fine. I'm not afraid of waiting. I've long since found these bastards displeasing. More and more experts came flying out of the beam of light. Each of them had grave expressions. They all knew that a true battle was about to start. Very quickly, Long Chen also saw the old patriarch return. The patriarch imperceptibly nodded toward him. That put Long Chen at ease. The patriarch had been in a rush to leave because he had been worried about the Zhuangshan Dao sect's safety. However, the truth was that this was just an excuse. His real goal was to send Yu Ziaokian away with no one the wiser. More and more experts came flying out. In just a few breaths time. Hundreds of Nether Passage experts had arrived. However, after a dozen breaths time, no one else came. The spatial channel behind Kujinian gradually closed. The ones who were coming had now come. Even if you gave the rest an hour to consider it, they wouldn't come. There were over 600 Nether Passage experts here now, standing behind Kujinian. Kujinian's expression became a bit unsightly. She was filled with disappointment. It was impossible that any sect leader would have missed the martial heaven order. However, only a portion of them had come. The thing that disappointed her the most was the absence of many familiar faces that had fought together with her before. That was what made her feel the worst. The passing of time caused many things to change, including people's feelings. Reality was even crueler than what Kujin Ying had expected. Clearwind City was thrown into chaos, and the residents of the city fled outside. If these experts were to start fighting, Clearwind City would be instantly annihilated. Staying in the city would leave them only with their corpses. Kujinying, I suppose you never expected this. Your stubbornness and foolishness have long since dissatisfied others. The Martial Heaven Alliance is currently filled with chaos because of you. People have long since left your alliance. The world's number one alliance might be attractive at other times, but now... Not even a third of your people have answered your highest summons. The Martial Heaven Alliance's hearts are no longer yours. Do you know where you went wrong now? Said Yu Ziaoyan coldly. The Martial Heaven Alliance's actual power was extremely terrifying. If all of its experts arrived, they would be strong enough to easily crush their enemies. Even if it was just half, their numbers would be equal. It was you who secretly sowed dissension amongst our ranks. After buying a bunch of traitors, do you still have the face to criticize others? You really are the world's most shameless person. Seeing Ku Jin Ying's unsightly expression, Yi Ling Shen angrily shouted Novaloon.com silence. You aren't qualified to speak here. Yu Ziaoyan's shout was like thunder, and a kind of supreme will immediately locked onto Yi Ling Shen. She stared in shock. Suddenly, Long Chen stepped forward in front of Yi Ling Shen. Space shook and all the experts were shocked. He's actually able to block a Nether Passage expert's supreme will, exclaimed one Nether Passage expert. The will of a Nether Passage expert was forged through going through life and death. Hence, it was a will that transcended life and death. Those who hadn't comprehended life and death couldn't possibly resist it. However, Long Chen was able to force away that supreme will using just his own will. In fact, he was even able to force Yu Ziaoyan's will away from others. Nice. The old man smiled. Seeing Long Chen's growth made him feel even happier than having advanced to the Nether Passage realm himself. 
If she isn't qualified to speak, then what qualifications do you have to spout such bullshit? Just because you lived a bunch of years for nothing? Is someone big bullying someone small very glorious? For someone like you to be Pill Valley's master, it seems Lord Brahma and Fallen Danite are both blind, sneered Long Chen. Gasps rang out. Long Chen's guts were truly big to even drag two gods into his words. He dared to even blaspheme gods. Was he afraid of nothing? Long Chen, you colluded with the original devil race to harm the martial heaven continent's geniuses. Now you're even blaspheming my gods. Today, no matter who protects you, it will be useless. You must face the entire continent's execution, shouted Yu Ziaoyan. Long Chen snorted derisively. This world really is one where whoever's fist is harder is right. If someone's mouth is bigger, they can even invert black and white. Tell me, did you personally see me collude with the original devil race? HMPH, you want to argue? The photographic jades of you working together with that woman of the original devil race to slaughter the martial heaven continents experts are all in our hands. Just how are you going to defend yourself? Sneered Yu Ziaoyan. Are you an idiot? When did I ever work together with her? She was killing her target, while I was killing mine. It's just that the time and place were the same. How did that turn into collusion? Could it be that to prove I have no connection with her, I was supposed to just lay there and let my opponents kill me when she started fighting? Would that prove my innocence? Tell me, is your head full of rotten tofu? In your own photographic jades, did you ever see her say a single word to me? Long Chen scoffed. Although you didn't speak to her, who knows whether or not you communicated spiritually snorted Yu Ziaoyan. Ah, well said. Who knows? Who knows whether or not you're an undercover agent the original devil race left behind on the continent demanded Long Chen. What a giant joke, sneered Yu Ziaoyan. How is it a joke? I have evidence behind my guess just like you. Your Pill Valley set up a banner as a neutral power and then spent every day silently selling fake medicine to rake in the profits. Even if you refuse to admit to anything else, I suppose everyone here has heard of the scandal of the bone-forging pills back in the Eastern Wastelands Pill Tower. You intentionally reduced the effect of the pills to make people buy more pills. When you were exposed by the Huaian sect, you set up a few unremarkable characters to take the heat and then paid off a few people to settle the waves. But in truth, the bone-forging pill is just one of many pills that you've lowered the effect of. Do you yourself not know how much money you've made with this scam? You must know how much money you made, because you then used this money to buy the leaders of the large sects and drive wedges between the members of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Then you used the Yin Yang world to collude with Heavenly Fate Island and get as many of the continent's geniuses killed as possible. You had all the large powers send their disciples to their deaths, while your Pill Valley merely sent 13 people. If it wasn't for the foolish plan you concocted with Heavenly Fate Island, how do you think we, who only numbered 600,000 weak people, could possibly defeat an army of 2 million elites absolute non? Comma are you trying to silence the truth? Since you're slandering me and want to kill me, I don't mind exposing all your crimes. You set up the various large powers to take huge losses. Your goal was to make them feel pain, which would lead to hatred. You would then turn that hatred against the Martial Heaven Alliance. When that happens, rivers of blood would flow between the Martial Heaven Alliance and the other large powers of the continent. However, your Pill Valley would remain unscathed. You would profit no matter who won said Long Chen. Are you all fools? You were used, and you didn't even realize it. You sent your best disciples out, while Pill Valley and Heavenly Fate Island conned them to their deaths. Use your brains. Two million experts, all of whom were elites, were annihilated by us. If they didn't take the initiative to cooperate with us, how could we kill so many people? Then think, just how many disciples did you send out? And how many disciples did Pill Valley send? Even if you don't have brains, use your butt to think and you should still be able to figure it out. Pill Valley wants a huge battle between the large powers of the continent. Tell me, just who would benefit from that? Who would profit the most? Tell me, just who is the real person colluding with the original devil race to destroy the continent? Long Chen's words were filled with great passion and his voice shuddered and even became a bit hoarse at perfect times. 
He was extremely eloquent. Both friends and foes looked at the Ashen Yu Ziaoyan suspiciously. They really did start to feel a bit suspicious due to Long Chen's words. You're making up nonsense. My Pill Valley is the legacy of true gods. How could we possibly collude with the original devil race? There's no need for more words. Today, Long Chen and his Dragonblood Legion must be killed, shouted Yu Ziaoyan, his whole body shuddering with fury. Just try and touch my children. The old man immediately stepped forward, pointing the heaven-splitting blade at Yu Ziaoyan. Since you want to die, that's fine. Yu Ziaoyan suddenly extended a hand and a giant furnace appeared, causing the stars to shudder. It smashed toward the old man. Chapter 1920 1920 Long Chen Find a chance to run. Yu Ziaoyan has already achieved his goal. He won't give you any chance to argue. If this battle starts, the entire continent will be thrown into chaos. All the large powers will be damaged at their core, and Pill Valley will become the greatest winner. Li Xiangxuan sent a message to Long Chen. Understood. Long Chen nodded. Yu Ziaoyan had played the martial heaven continent like a giant chessboard. Now, the board was reaching its final stage. Whether or not Long Chen had colluded with the original devil race wasn't important. Even without Yu Ziaoyan, he would have other excuses to start this battle. The main conflict between the two sides was now concentrated on Long Chen. Yu Ziaoyan was stubbornly insisting that Long Chen and the Dragonblood Legion had colluded with the original devil race using that to light the flames of war. The day-night furnace and the heaven-splitting blade erupted with divine light. The stars in the sky shook, as their terrifying clash caused even the deos of the world to fragment. Cloud, Long Chen, who had been waiting for this clash, immediately sent a message to Cloud. Cloud transformed into her true body, and the Dragonblood Legion's experts jumped onto her back. She transformed into a streak of light that shot away. Running to escape the punishment for your crimes? If you weren't feeling guilty, why would you run? Sneered Di Long. He raised a hand, and a giant palm reached out to block Cloud. Cloud's true body was giant, but compared to this gigantic hand, she appeared tiny. A ray of sword light slashed down from the sky, cutting that hand in two. Running means they're guilty, but not running means being killed by you. Long Chen is right. Whoever's mouth is bigger is capable of inverting right and wrong. Yan Nanshan appeared in the sky, a sword in his hand. He was the one who had broken Di Long's attack. At the same time, the other three grand elders of the Martial Heaven Alliance also appeared, their expressions calm. With Di Long blocked, Cloud vanished over the horizon. No one could catch up to her. As for the fierce clash between the old man and Yu Ziaoyan, it caused primal chaos to explode as the laws of the world were shattered. The old man was forced back over and over again. After all, the old man had just advanced to the Nether Passage realm. While Yu Ziaoyan was in the Death Realm, the third step of Nether Passage, the difference in cultivation base was extremely great. Being forced back infuriated the old man. With a roar, his white hair stood on end, and the heaven-splitting blade rumbled. A terrifying pressure crashed down, causing the world to change color. That's the legendary ninth form of split the heavens. Legend has it that the ninth form is a divine ability capable of cutting apart heaven and earth, of destroying the entire world. This aura is truly terrifying. The old man seemed possessed by a god as he raised the heaven splitting blade. His aura was crazily climbing as if there was no limit. Guangguan, don't. Seeing the old man's actions, Hu Jinying instantly turned pale as paper. What's there to be afraid of? Trading the life of an old man like me for the life of Pill Valley's master is definitely worth it. As for the heaven-splitting battle sect, it will still have Long Chen. He will be able to bring the heaven-splitting battle sect back to its former glory. As for Pill Valley, once he's dead, they'll have nothing. The old man laughed, his voice booming amongst the crumbling deos around him. The ninth form of split the heavens was the peak. There was a legend that said that it required awakening divine energy to use. Without the support of that divine energy, it was possible to use it once at the price of the user's life energy. Yu Ziaoyan's expression changed. He felt a terrifying pressure lock onto him. Although there were countless powerful experts around him, he was the only one who would be facing this attack. HMPH. 
You want to exchange your life for mine? Let's see if you have that ability. Yu Ziaoyan crossed his hands before him, and the world behind him exploded. Two giant statues appeared in the sky. Those two statues were of Pill Valley's gods, Lord Brahma and Fallen Daynight. Sacred divine light flowed around them. Rather than statues, it was like the two gods had come in person. People couldn't help feeling an urge to kneel. I have the power of God supporting me. Let's see just who will die here, sneered Yu Ziaoyan. Then let's see. The old man ignored the statues. His gaze was electric as his aura suddenly soared to a new level. A giant sword image soared into the sky. All the Nether Passage experts felt a chill. They felt a prickling sensation on their skin. None of them had expected the old man, who had just advanced to the Nether Passage realm, to be able to unleash such power. Guanguan, you can't. Jin Ying's tears suddenly spilled over. She knew that if this sword fell, the old man would forever vanish from this world. However, she also knew that if she tried to stop him, it would only distract him. It wouldn't change that this move had to be unleashed. So her thoughts were in a whirlwind. All the experts tensed. Once this move was unleashed, it would mean a giant war would fully erupt through this world. What is all this anger for? Wouldn't sitting down and having a drink be better suddenly? A gentle voice resounded through the air. A voice that made all those tense nerves loosen. Shockingly, the clashing chaotic energy raging through the world calmed down as well. Both the old man and Yu Ziaoyan's auras faded. The statues behind Yu Ziaoyan vanished. And the giant sword image of the old man's also vanished. Which expert has come? I would ask that you reveal yourself. Called out Yu Ziaoyan. I wouldn't dare call myself an expert. I am just an old drunkard. But since you've summoned me, I'll thicken my face. An elder with a kind and gentle smile suddenly walked out from the distance. He held a wooden staff and there was a wine gourd tied to his waist. His robes were a bit old-fashioned, but they were extremely clean. The wine god palace's high priest. Suddenly, a startled cry rang out as someone recognized this elder's identity. Following that person's shout, the others jumped in shock. This was a legendary figure, the emissary of the wine god, someone who was closest to the gods. His cultivation base was unfathomable. Although his fame was great, only a few had ever seen him at all, let alone seen him fighting. That was why many people only viewed him as a mysterious figure and not some peerless expert. However, just now, with just a few words, he had suppressed Yu Ziaoyan and the old man's attacks. That level of cultivation base was absolutely terrifying. Senior, what is an outsider like you doing here? Do you have any teachings for us? Asked Yu Ziaoyan. Even he was fearful of this person, but his gaze was still cold. That was because there had been some bad blood between the Wine God Palace and Pill Valley in the past, which had resulted in both sides parting ways. Perhaps the youngsters here didn't know of it, but the senior generation knew that this was a stain on Pill Valley's history. So Yu Ziaoyan's gaze was sharp. He felt like the high priest had come to go against his Pill Valley. That was why he immediately called him an outsider. His meaning was clear. This wasn't any of his business. The high priest said, Valley Master, you are correct. However, whether I'm an outsider or not depends on how big the board is. If you were to start fighting here, it would implicate the entire Martial Heaven continent. Millions of lives would be ended. The Wine God Palace is part of the Martial Heaven continent, so we would also be implicated. So arguing that I'm an outsider means nothing. HMPH. Don't you think you're making a mountain out of a molehill? Pill Valley is just capturing the spies of the original devil race for the safety of the continent. Everything we do is for the lives of the world. Don't you think you're inverting black and white with your words? Said Yu Ziaoyan. Haha, <laughs> you misunderstand. I'm not here to mediate things or judge anyone. After all, I'm at such an age that I can't be bothered with such things. I'm only here to say a few words to everyone. Currently, the Martial Heaven continent has entered a great era, and many geniuses are being born. The continent is growing stronger and stronger. However, don't forget that it's not just the Martial Heaven continent that is going through its great era. Don't forget what the Dark Era represents. After saying that, the High Priest actually turned and left. However, 
the dark era he mentioned rang out in people's minds over and over again. The impact of those words was immense. The dark era always followed the great era. The descent of the great era also indicated that the dark era would come quickly. Seeing the high priest leave, Yu Ziaoyan announced, It is precisely because the dark era is coming that we must be united against traitors and spies of our enemies. We have to be able to develop in peace. As long as Long Chen doesn't die, the martial heaven continent cannot know peace. Valley Master, don't you feel like your words are a slap in your own face? Just at this moment, a large group of people appeared. When he saw their leader, Yu Ziaoyan's expression changed. 